Tonight, on the new dating game, you'll meet the star of the $10,000 pyramid and American bandstand, Dick Clark, and a lovely young stewardess from the state of Texas, Miss Gail Shirley. That's tonight on the new dating game. Now here's the host of the new dating game, Jim Lang. Thank you. You're plotting my clothes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Well, there's special All-American fun set for tonight because in game two, that American bandstand guy, Dick Clark, will be choosing a date for one of his American bandstand regulars. And in game one, a lovely young stewardess will be involved in some high-powered dating deliberations with three sharp young bachelor fellas. That all begins right after this message. And now, the time has come for three young bachelors to make their romantic pitch in the hope it'll win them a most sought-after date. So let's meet those guys right now, and here they are! <laughs> Welcome, gentlemen. All right. Bachelor number one is an actor who has recently appeared in a play entitled The Year Boston Won the Pennant. He loves to play chess. His name is Austin Kelly. Austin, welcome to the dating room. Good luck. A furniture designer, bachelor number two, wants to own his own designing firm someday. He likes all kinds of skiing. Portland, Oregon is his hometown. Meet Richard Hanners. Richard, good luck to you. And bachelor number three is a medical intern and plans on having a private practice. He likes to travel. He plays duplicate bridge. He was born in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania. Here is Mick Manzi. Mick, good luck. And that's the two of charismatic characters for tonight's game number one. Of course, to prevent our young lady, as always, from hearing anything about our gentleman, we've kept her isolated off stage in a soundproof, sightproof room till now. And now it's time to meet her. She's a stewardess for a large international airline, and she loves flying. She enjoys swimming and sewing, and football is just about her favorite thing. Originally from Bastrop, Texas, please help me with a rousing dating game welcome for Gail Shirley. Hello, Gail. How are you? Good. Welcome to the show. You're in a position of power, so to speak. Gail, you can ask the questions the bachelors must answer, and afterward you have the power to select anyone that you prefer, and you get the date with them, okay? okay. All right, we'll start with a hello from the bachelors. Number one, would you please say good evening to Gail? Good evening, Gail. And number two? Uh, good evening, Gail. <laughs> and uh, number three? Hi, Gail. All right, are you all set? Please have a seat, make yourself comfortable. Have all the fun you want, but get some information. Gentlemen, good luck, and here we go. Bachelor number three. One look at me and you can tell I'm from Texas because we think big. Look at number one and tell me where he's from. He's from uh, Rhode Island. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Why Rhode Island? Because uh, it's a very small state. Is he little? I'm sorry? Is he little? Um... No, not in size. <laughs> Tell you what. <laughs> number one, look at number two. Where is he from? I'd rather not. <laughs> Come uh, on. Nova Scotia. Why Nova Scotia? Oh, well, there's a certain chill over here. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, bachelor number one, you're gonna love this. Oh, back again. <laughs> Drop a quarter into the jukebox of your mind and sing me the best dang country western song you can think of, because I'm homesick. Okay. It's 50 cents these days. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you uh, four words. You ready? Yeah. Okay. You gotta use a little method for this. Hit it. Stay by you, man. Number two. Your turn. Yes. Same, same thing. <laughs> I left my heart with you. Did they sing through their nose? <laughs> <laughs> Number two, she's talking to you. Did I sing through my nose? Yes. No, I didn't, but that's country western. <laughs> <laughs> Bachelor 
Caller number three. We haven't even gone out yet, but already my daddy is loading his shotgun. Why? Uh, your daddy's a hunter. He hunts a lot of, uh... <laughs> That's it? That's it. All right. Game's over, Gail. Now, on that, what you've gotten, you have to make a decision. It's going to be difficult, so relax and think about it. And while Gail decides which mystery bachelor she chooses for her date, we'll take a little time out for these words just for you. Watch. And welcome back to the dating game again. And Gail, it's time to make that big dating game decision. The bachelors were charming, witty, clever, all the things they're supposed to be, but sorry, only one gets the date. Now that decision is yours. Will it be bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? Who is the lucky fellow? Bachelor number two. Number two, all right, bachelor number two. Any reason why, Gail? We're always interested in wh what a woman's mind does. I think he's the one that was singing the Western songs. He sang one of the Western songs. Yes, he did. You asked him about his nose. <laughs> Before you meet him, though, I'd like you to meet the other bachelors. Number one did sing a song, uh, Stand By Your Man. He did four words for you. He's an actor who recently appeared in a play entitled The Year Boston Won the Pennant. Loves to play chess. A great sense of humor. Austin Kelly. Austin, come on and say hi to Gail, if you would. Thank you very much, Austin. Marvelous job. You also didn't choose number three. And Gail, he's a medical intern. Plans on having a private practice. He had some sharp, quick answers for you. Loves to travel and play duplicate bridge. Mick Manzi. Mick, come on and say hi to Gail. Sorry, Mick. Good job, though. Thank you so much. And you chose number two who sang that song. I'll tell you something about him in real life. He is a furniture designer and wants to own his own designing firm someday. He likes all kinds of skiing. Portland, Oregon is his hometown. Your date is Richard Hanners. Richard, say hi to Gail, if you would, please. Congratulations, Richard. Well, Gail, we thought we'd subscribe to the pleasure principle for your date with Richard. So we're sending you to one of the most pleasurable dining spots to be found right here in Hollywood, California. Yes, you'll be dining in intimate and relaxed elegance at Don Pepe on Sunset Boulevard, a restaurant that provides, prides itself on dignity of service and imaginative and exciting cuisine. Don Pepe serves marvelous Mexican and Spanish dishes, and since you'll be in a Latin mood, afterwards you'll be heading to the airport and a flight to fabulous Spain. Yes, you and your lady gay chaperone will be flying to the Costa del Sol of Spain. Whereas guests of Coppertone, the first name in tanning, you'll spend lazy days on Spain's most popular beach strip, taking dips in the warm blue water, soaking up the bright sunshine, exploring such places as the port city of Malaga. And then you'll fly from Malaga to the fantastic Spanish city of Madrid, where you'll sightsee such famed spots as the fabulous Prado, the Royal Palace, and the beautiful El Retiros. And for your sunning pleasure, here is a bag filled with very special products from Coppertone, right for you there. And I hope you enjoy your trip. By the way, there's a complete selection of tanning products, one for every type of skin. You can get a tan or you can get a Coppertone tan. The tan people notice. Have a marvelous time on your date to the Costa del Sol in Spain. And thank you both very much. Thanks a lot. Have fun, I see you back. My pleasure. Well, I would say after three decades in the music business, Dick Clark, the empresario of the long-running American bandstand, is all set to preside over the dating fate of one of his show's regular girl dancers and three hopeful young bachelors. Thank you very much, and now hoping to impress a famous empresario, our three most impressive young bachelor fellas. So let's meet them right now, and here they are. Good luck, gentlemen, to all three of you. Bachelor number one is a sophomore biology student who plans on becoming either a doctor or a dentist. He likes to sing. He enjoys bowling. Meet Brian Garfield. Brian. 
Also a pre-med student, Bachelor number two is head student manager for UCLA's track team. He's interested in photography. He likes to ski from Piedmont, California. Here's Gary Kay. Gary, good luck. And Bachelor number three works in a restaurant while studying theater arts in school. He too likes to sing. He's interested in sports, a native of Scotland. Please welcome Jim Kerr. Jim, welcome to the show. And there you have the three romantically inclined young Romeos for tonight's game too. Now to present our very special guest. From hearing the introductions of our three gentlemen, we've been keeping him isolated. Off stage in a soundproof booth. Let's bring him on stage right now. He's the host of American Bandstand and the $10,000 Pyramid and the star of his own special New Year's Eve show. This production company has produced many hit television shows and motion pictures. I want you to join me in welcoming a great guy to the new dating game, Dick Clark. Hey, Dick. Nice to see you. I think we better explain to the bachelors over there that you're going to be selecting a date not for yourself. they got to be in a state of shock. Right yeah, now. the date is not for Dick. I am not your date. All right. <laughs> The date is for one of your dancing regulars who is right. waiting off stage. All right, now before we start, Dick, I'm going to have the gentleman say hello. You've been in the business a long time. Maybe you can tell something by their voices. Uh, bachelor number one, would you please say good evening to Dick? Good evening, Dick. Thank you. Number two? Hi, Dick. And number three? Hello, Richard. <laughs> Not a one Mr. Clark in the whole no, room. No, that's I can like that a lot. All right, Dick, if you'd have a seat, please make yourself comfortable. You can begin anytime you're ready. Bachelors, do your best, and here we go. Well, now that you've got yourselves composed, gentlemen, and discovered I'm not your date, uh, <laughs> let me see. This is difficult for me. If I were a girl and I were to turn to you, bachelor number one, say, how's your bod? What would you say? Well, I uh, could only say I'm real fine. Real fine. <laughs> bachelor number three, answer the same question for me, will you? How's your bod, old buddy? Well, as bods go, uh, it's not bad. All right. I've got, a, I've got a real great girl. I've known her for about three years now. She's been dancing on the bandstand since she was a little kid. And she's a lovely young lady. I've got Debbie for you. Bachelor number two, what do you got for me? I've got my bar, which is better than both of these. <laughs> We're hanging hang in with, with bachelor number two for a minute. Twenty years ago, a girl with bobby socks and pedal pushers and a ponytail and penny loafers and all of that, 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 that'd turn a guy on. What turns you on in the 70s? Well, you know, they could still wear the same thing. My imagination can still run, and uh, I can dream up anything, but I'm sure I won't have to dream anything up with Debbie over there, because uh, there's nothing I have to dream about. I just look at her. All right, bachelor number three, what is there about the girls today that gets to you? What do you, what do you like the best? Oh, God, well, it has nothing to do with the clothes. The clothes don't mean a thing anymore, but... Uh, the way the girl carries herself, the, you know, the way she shows her class, there's a lot of class around these days. All right, number, number one, think. you know, we have a feature on the show uh, where we rate records and the kids say, well, I give it a 58, it's easy to dance to and I like to be. Turn to the guy next to you and rate bachelor number two. I think I'd give him about a minus 20. <laughs> uh, number, number two, number two, rate number one. Well, you know, uh, the powers of 10, about 10 to the negative 20. Hey, you, uh, do you have a scientific background? Uh, what was that? Do you have a scientific background? Uh, yeah, I do, kind of. You have a calculating mind? Oh, yeah, very calculating. Uh, but uh, no, no, wait, Let me play the father role now. Number three, what are your intentions? Strictly honorable, sir. <laughs> Well, that eliminates number three. <laughs> number one, number one. If you were to walk into a living room and some old goat was sitting there and say, young man, now what is your plan for my daughter tonight? I mean, I she is not my daughter, but I feel a fatherly feel for this girl. What, do you, what are your intentions? Well, I'm a clean-cut American kid, and my intentions are perfectly honest and perfectly clean. And uh, you don't have a thing to worry about, Dad. Hey, you Not guys don't seem to realize I've heard all these stories before. <laughs> <laughs> no, this, this isn't a story. This and isn't a story. This is, this is straight from uh, my heart. Straight Move, I missed. Number two, Jim? Number two hasn't answered that one yet. Number yet. two, you're on the spot. Are your oh, intentions we... honorable? Are you a straight cat? You know, like, uh, I'm going to be straight with you. You're not uh, the girl's father over there, so uh, you know what's going to go on. Yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> super <laughs> Gentlemen, 
I can assure you this is one of the loveliest young ladies I've ever met, but she has a, uh, a tendency to like glamour in guys. She date, dates a lot of rock and roll stars. The last time I saw her, she was dating a daredevil motorcycle rider. Uh, bachelor number one. How would you characterize yourself? Are you a devil-may-care, daring dude type dude? <laughs> well, I think... Yeah, I think she'd kind of dig me. We'd get, get my uh, jalopy Chevy and go up to Hollywood Boulevard, you know, and... Uh, Cruise a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bachelor number two, what, what have you got to offer? What's your well, best those, point? Well, those first two things aren't hard to beat. You know, I've got my Fender guitar, you know, and uh, I can take her out for a motorcycle ride, but, uh, you know, there's a lot more things to it. You know, I can show her a better time than both those guys. They're out there in the dirt. I can take her out in the night and show her what glamour's all about. All right, guys, great job. Thank you, Dick. Now you stay right there and you have to make up your mind for Debbie and while Dick Clark is choosing a date for Debbie from one of the three bachelors he's been talking to, we'll take a little time to talk to you about some fine products. Watch. Welcome back to the dating game, and Dick Clark, you're on the spot. Uh, not for yourself, well, for yourself, too, because Debbie is not going to like you if you make the wrong choice. Oh, come on. The pressure <laughs> is bad enough. They did a good job, all of the guys. And now, the question is, which will it be? Will it be bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? Dick? You Jim, think? it's a toughie. I uh, was inclined to think of number three, and then number two said he had a Fender bass, and... Uh, Debbie likes a guy with a sense of humor, so I'm going to take number two. Number two, all right, that's your number two. He's the one you have to watch out for, too. All right, before, before we meet the gentleman you chose, I'd like you to meet the other guys. Dick, number one is a sophomore biology student who plans on becoming a doctor or a dentist. He loves to sing, he enjoys bowling. Number one is Brian Garfield. Brian, say hello to Dick Clark, if you will, please. Thank you, Brian, good job. Number three wasn't chosen, but he was in there close. Uh, he works in a restaurant while studying theater arts in school. He, too, loves to sing. Very interested in sports, Jim Kerr. Jim, say hi to Dick Clark, if you would. And now, number two was the choice, wasn't it? This is a dirty old man. This, this is guy. the guy, yeah. I'm going to tell you a little bit about him. He's a pre-med student, going to be a doctor. He's also the head manager for UCLA's track team. He's very interested in photography. He loves to ski. Here's Gary Kay. Gary, come on and say hi to Dick Clark. Well, Gary, tonight we made a little change from the way we usually do things, obviously, and have had our good friend Dick Clark here choose the date for one of his bandstand regulars. So I think it's about time that we met the young lady right now. She's a high school senior majoring in business and makes regular appearances on American Bandstand. Please welcome Debbie Chafin. Did he do all right, Debbie? Well, Debbie, we discovered a long time ago that fabulous dates require fabulous locations. And that's the kind we picked for your date with Gary. Because you'll be flying off to the fabulous city of Lima, Peru. Yes. You and your dating game chaperone will be flying to the land of the Incas and the Conquistadores, Lima, Peru, where as part of your seven-day pre-planned travel holiday, you'll visit the fascinating capital city of Peru to dine in fabulous restaurants, travel on famed Pan American Highway, visit the ancient Inca ruins of Pachacama, as well as the lovely government palace and many other interesting landmarks. There'll be plenty of time for real Peruvian shopping, too, for such things as hand-fashioned silver, llama and alpaca rugs, and fascinating souvenirs for your pre-planned holiday. And you will fly to Lima, Peru on an airline with over 44 years flying experience in North and South America, Europe, and the Pacific. Land Chile Airlines, planning perfect vacations to over 14 exciting and uncommon destinations. The lands they know best, a new concept in travel originated by Land Chile Airlines. And now I want all three of you to hold on a little bit because the tables are going to turn to show you another surprise. Your very own motorcycle! Yes, designed in Oregon, but built for the world. Here are 100 cc's of dynamite. The Hodaka Dirt Squirt. Motorcycles with quality components, rugged design, and small overall size with low center of gravity. All meaning that fun is the Hodaka Dirt Squirt's middle name. 
And here are the perfect fashion companions, worn by top motor motocross racers across the world, Super Boots by North Star, the champion's champion, with his and hers durable and fashionable leather pants, gloves, helmets, and jerseys. More North Star boots are worn on the motocross circuit than any other boots, and they all combine to make all of it, I think, a great day to Lima, Peru, the motorbike, and the outfit. Debbie, you got to thank Dick for that. You did a great job. Gary, thank you. Dick, why don't you join me in the center here, and we'll say goodbye to everybody. Hey, come on back in, kids. Jane, you can come down and join us, too. Well, congratulations, first of all, Richard. A lovely girl, and you're going on a great date. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And Dick, thank you for joining us. And someday I'll come and join you on the American Bandstand. All right. All right. Thank you so much. That's it. We're out of time. Join us next week. Jim Lyons saying thank you. Bye bye. And I hope you always get the days you really want. Ready to throw a kiss? Dick, everybody. Jane, come on. Let's go. Dates with celebrities are always subject to their availability. Contestants were single at the time of pre-recording this program. New Dating Game is a Chuck Barris production. Joyce, it's always a joy to have you return to the fold. I wish well, I could you. say the same about Tony Randall. I know. I know what you mean. I mean, it's always, for me, it's always not the easiest week when you're here. Are you going to behave yourself this week, Tony? You're damn right. <laughs> say hello to your partner. Her name is Lynn Deering. Lynn, you're up to, what, 15000 now? Yes. And how much money have you accumulated so far? I believe far? $350. Right, indeed. Your occupation you. when you're not with us? I'm a licensed optician practicing in Poughkeepsie, New York. Let's see what you're doing. Perhaps you can look over these glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think... I can't see through them. You need to have your eyes examined. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and so it begins. Yes. <laughs> The new player to the game is Mark Westfield. Mark, what's your occupation? I work for the immunization division of New York City Health Department. Welcome aboard. Have you said hello to Elaine? Yes, we have. Are you ready, my dear? Me. Oh, yes, we're ready. Okay. We're ready. Take a look at these subjects. We have the rubber tree body, beautiful long way off, man-to-man -man noise, pollution, Phi Beta Kappa. What's your pleasure? Mark would like the body beautiful, right? All right. <laughs> In did honor I, of Tony Randall. Did I miss something here? All right, let's see if there's a big seven under body beautiful gentleman. Hey, oh, wow. Way to go, baby. All right. I knew there was a reason you wanted that one. <laughs> Elaine, you are to describe for him these parts of the human body. You'll have 30 seconds oh, in which to do it. so. Please don't give part of the answer or a word that conveys the essence of the answer. If it does, the bird sounds off. And again, Mark, these are parts of the human body. Ready? Go. This. Thumb. And you breathe. <gasps> uh, chest, lungs. Right. And this is when you have no hair, you're... Bald. Yes, uh, but it's your... A bald spot. It's your... A scalp. Right. And this is what you cut out when you have... Uh, 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 it blows up. Appendix. Right. Uh, and this is your, your back, your bone. Your spine. 
Right. And these are your... Uh, muscles, biceps. Right. And this is... Uh, uh, nos claw, nostrils, claw, nozzles, claw, nasal passages. Uh, uh, sinuses. Right. <laughs> Off to a flying star. Perfect score. Congratulations, Mark. Lynn, stand by. Tony, what uh, one do you want? Here? Noise pollution. All right, sir. Please describe for the lady these things that make a noise. Things that make a noise. Mm -hmm. Ready? Go. Hip. Hiccup. Mm -hmm. uh, they drop the atom. Bomb. Mm -hmm. uh, a laughing. Hyena. Uh -huh. uh, you do this cutting wood. Saw. Mm -hmm. uh, Oh. Gargle. Mm -hmm. uh, a little animal by the fireplace. Oh, and, uh, a chirp. Uh, a grasshopper. Um, uh, cricket. Yes. Uh huh. And they they break up the sidewalk with a. A uh, jackhammer. Uh huh. We yeah. nearly. Oh, three seconds left. Three seconds left. <laughs> Two perfect scores working here. Both teams have seven points. If you carry that through to a 21, that'll mean a bonus for each of you of $1,000. Mark? We'll try rubber tree. Please describe for Elaine these things that are made of rubber. These things are made of rubber. Ready? Go. Okay, a bouncing. Ball. Mm -hmm. Okay, a uh, man wears them. A uh, fireman, red. Uh, a fireman wears red. Uh, a suspender. Inside belt. Right, okay. This is a, uh, inside a tire is the inner, inner tube. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is um, uh, on a leg, gay 90s, they wore them. Garter. Right, okay, this is a, uh, the bottom of your shoe. Sole. Right, okay, this is a uh, 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 marching. Band. Uh, yes. Okay, and this is uh, a uh, scuba diver wears them. Uh, on uh, his slippers. Feet. Yes. Another perfect score. You guys could burn yourselves out before Tuesday of this week, the way you're... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, it's 14 to 7. Lynn? Man to man, please. Describe for Tony, please, these things that begin with the letters M-A-N. These things begin with the letters M-A-N. Ready? Go. Uh, the thing on a horse, it's... Mane. Right. Um, on the fireplace, where you put all... Mantle. The... Right. Um, a person, that, that not really a person in the window that... Mannequin. Shows, right. Um, it's a type of um, violin, a type of... Mandolin. Right. Um, watch your, when you have to be polite, watch Manners. your... Manners. Right. Um, a person is really crazy is a... Maniac. Right. Um, you have to read this to know how to run your car. It's the... Manual. Right. There it is. Oh, oh good. love it, love it. <laughs> I you can't know. stand the tension. It's yeah, just... Sure. It's so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Clayton, have we ever had a double bonus of $1,000? We have had it twice. This could be the third time. Look at that score. 14-14. Both players could win a $1,000 bonus. Mark? And okay, we'll try a long way off, and I'll give. All right, sir. Please describe for the lady these things that go a long way. Things that go a long way. Ready? Go. Okay, uh, it's a river down, down the middle of our country. Mississippi. Yes. Okay, this is... Um, you don't want to send it first class, you want to send it far? Yeah, ma'am. Yes. Okay, this is uh, Babe Ruth, hit a lot of... Home run. Uh-huh. Okay, and this was uh, Daniel Boone, he was... Uh... A pioneer. Yes. Okay, and this is a, uh, uh, not a comet, but similar. A rocket. Uh, no, it's a, small. Uh, okay, a, um, a, a, a parking... A, a, a you put money in a parking... meter. Meteor. Right, okay, this is a, uh, a little bird, well, when you go, go... You... Swallow. Yes, okay, and this is, uh, he had his uh, travels, uh, they tied him up... Oh. Oh. You know, under normal circumstances, you say, wow, look at that score, almost perfect, 20, and we're all rooting for that one, one point. It does do two things, however. It lives, uh, leaves Lynn with an opportunity to pick up $1,000 and the win by one point. Who's to give here? Oh! <laughs> Is that a response? Uh, yes, you... Yeah. Tony, please describe these things on a college campus. Things on a college campus, they need 21 points to win the game. Ready? Go. Where the books are? The library. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, freshman, and then the next year? Um, yeah, junior. No, so, between... Um, sophomore. Yes, right. Um, the head of the school is the... Dean. Mm -hmm. Uh, where you have your meals with the tray. Cafeteria. Mm -hmm. Um, the guy, the, the girls with the pom-poms. Uh-huh. Uh, when the class gets together after a number of the years. Reunion. Uh-huh. 
uh, where they have the services uh, uh, out chapel. there. Out there, what's that's that? That's the audience. Uh, that's the word. The audience? The word. Audience. A o kind. Keep, keep, keep Auditorium. Going. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. This kid doesn't deserve to lose. No. No. Uh, no, you didn't deserve to lose, no, Mark. No. He played, he's played a great game, without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah. You won $500. Yeah. Fine, thank you. All right, are you... Are, the man there smoking. Oh, oh leave him alone. <laughs> we, we, we know about that, Tony. It'll, it'll be taken it's care of. medically prescribed for him. He's very hyper. He has to. Lynn, you've got $1,350. Let's go win the big money. I don't know whether I can make it through the whole, this whole week. Are you uh, prepared and ready to go? No! <laughs> You're making this lady tremble. Oh, well. Let's go. Thank goodness you put out your hand. <laughs> All right, enough of this faulty roll. Let's win the big money. Here's your first subject. Go. Colon, semicolon, comma. Punctuation mark. Well, I have my little camera and my invisible ink, and I'm going to see what's going on what over here. What I would say. <laughs> the Barrymores. Famous families, acting families. Right. <laughs> Trees. Books. Um. Uh, trees. Things uh, with a cover. Trees. Things made of wood. Uh, um, books. Let's come back to that one. Um. Electricity. Uh, Things that shock you. Yes. <laughs> ships, rockets, rockets, ships, um, careers. Things you launch. Yes. <laughs> Books, uh, uh, dining room tables. Things made of oak. Things made uh, of wood. Uh, <laughs> Somehow. You gave, you gave the I right gave good ones, but I couldn't find the perfect one to give it to you. The ones I gave you were good, but not good enough. What do they all have in common? A dining room table, a book, and a tree. An extension table. A tobacco they plant. Have leaves. Leaves, right. Somebody said tobacco. Tobacco plant might have given it. Tobacco leaves. Lady elephant left. ears. Uh, uh, no. Oh, no. uh, an elephant ear plant, you mean? Yeah. Elephant ears. No, it's a, pl it's a plant. It's no good at all. I'm glad I didn't give that one. <laughs> yeah. Lynn, you have $1,800. The game we will so continue close. in a moment. We'll be back right after this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You're trying to psych out I your opponent. I left burning in his dressing room. So he should get back here and he'll... Cigarettes you left in his oh, dressing room? Of course. Room? Unless I mean, it's burning. Fanatical. I mean, he's, he's totally involved now in a conversation. Incense. He doesn't even know that you and I are talking. About this. I know. He Hello, just wants Tony. To Hi there. Hi there. We were talking about what we'd like to do. Uh, how about... <laughs> we talk about the game for a while? Yes, now, now, now we'll talk about the game. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Kathy Denegris, you've already met your partner. What is your job, Kathy? I'm a housewife and mother in New Jersey. Welcome aboard. Tony, what does Tulsa, Oklahoma mean to you? Tulsa, Oklahoma is probably the most beautiful city in the United States. Aside from that? It's five, aside from that, I was born there. Yes. Aside from that, I'm playing there this week uh -huh. in Music Magazine. Now uh -huh. the truth will out. Uh -huh. You're in, um, in Music Man. How long is the engagement there? One week in Tulsa. And then you rotate around the rest of the country. Well, it's interesting that you should ask where we go next week. Oh. Right. <laughs> Tony, I, I, I didn't ask where you're going next, but you're going to tell me anyway. You implied it generically. You said you rotate around the country. Rotate around the country, you said. As though, go ahead, as spew though. it out. Fort Wayne next week. That's yes. nice. Then Atlanta. Yes. Guess where we are the week after Atlanta. the Vegas idea. Indianapolis. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Onward and upward, folks. You got to get on with the game. Elaine, please hang in there a second. We'll let the crazy one start first. We have Sleepy Time Gal, separate tables, proof positive, the lineup, and all the trimmings. The envelope, please, Tony, select one. We've decided on Sleepy Time Gal. Uh, we played the seven the last time, as you recall. These are things that uh, make you drowsy. Things that make you drowsy. Ready? Go. Uh, the fruit of the vine. Wine. Mm -hmm. uh, a nice, warm... Relaxing tub, uh, bath. Yes. Um, the preacher's... A sermon. Mm -hmm. um, a pill you take is called... A, a tranquilizer. Uh -huh. um, after school, you have to sit there and do your... Homework. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, the music that uh, Leonard Bernstein sometimes... Conducts. Oh, it's symphonic, symphony? Yes. Symphony music. Uh -huh. um, what you do when you're trying to sleep, you... Uh, count uh, sheep. Yes. Yes. Perfect sure, a couple of seconds to spare. Elaine Joyce, please, if you will. We would like and all the trimmings. All right, please describe for your partner these things that are trimmed. Lynn, these are things that are trimmed. Ready? Go. Uh, on, on a candle. The wick. Mm -hmm. And uh, these things, like Elvis Presley had. Sideburns. And uh, when you take the fat off a piece of meat, what is the meat called? A T-bone steak. And uh, this, you, this part of your nail. Your cuticle. And uh, when you're on a, 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 a food, and you got a, a certain a amount diet. of money you can spend. A budget. Right. Uh, and this. An hourglass. Your, your you, figure. Right. And this is uh, the bushes in front of your house. Right. There it is. Another perfect score. Sorry, huh? oh, we beat them, though. We had two seconds. I wasn't sure how fast we were going, because they were hard. You know? Lynn and Elaine have seven. Tony and Kathy have seven. And Kathy has the choice. Uh, we'll take separate tables. I describe for Tony these things that uh, keep people apart. Things that keep people apart. We were certain it was things in a restaurant. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here you go. Things that keep people apart. Ready? Go. Oh, when you go to jail, you're in. Same thing. Right. Um, when two people split up. The divorce. Right. Uh, the Atlantic, the Pacific. Oceans. Uh, the line between two countries. Boundary. Uh, the, Boundaries. Uh, the Mexican. Border. Right. Oh, when you have a big fight, you have a disagreement. A breakup. Two people, when they... A spat. When, when they disagree about something, you talk, you're having a fight about it. Go to the next one. Okay. Oh, and Germany, the thing that divides East and West. The wall, the Berlin Wall. All right. The, uh, no good. We lost time on that one. What was it? An argument. Argument. Argument was the one that cost you a little bit of time. Simple word like argument. Lynn? The line up, please. Please describe for Elaine these things uh, that have lines. These things have lines. Ready? Go. This. Your forehead. Right. Um, the stinky animal. The skunk. Spray. Right. Um, you read from a... Book. No, when you're Paper. Master. Uh, a uh, script. Right. Um, three in a row. Paragraph. Ho Hollywood Squares is... Uh, Tic-tac-toe. Uh, right. Tic -tac right. Um, um, one half is a... Or three-fourths Fraction. Is a, right. Um, a street is a... A uh, double line. No, a, a regular highway. Street or uh, just a small one. A, uh, a, a country, road. Right. Um, you write on this little piece paper. Of paper. No book. No book. Oh, there it is. 1312. No score still. <laughs> I'd like to applaud you two valiant girls. And... <laughs> All right. 13 to 12. Point of part. Tony, you have the choice of proof positive the envelope, please. Which one would you like? Proof positive. And who's mm -hmm. going to give and who's going to receive, please? I'll give. Tony, describe these things used for identification. Things used for identification. Ready? Go. A mark from a cut. Oh, a scar. Mm -hmm. uh, this. A thumbprint. Fingerprint. Mm -hmm. um, the doctor puts you in front of the machine, looks through oh, you. Oh, x-ray. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 what I'm doing. Your boy, speak. Yes. speak. Uh -huh. uh, your number, mine is 07116. Oh, social security number. Uh -huh. um, on your little pet, you have a... A dog tag. Yes. Um... A game we used to play where uh, uh, the spies have a, a uh, code, something you say. Something a secret you say. word. Uh, that's right. That's a secret uh, word. Uh, 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 password. Right. There uh, it is. Got them all. We got seven. Okay. Okay. Scores 19 okay. to 13. Okay. Lynn and Elaine, you're mm -hmm. trying for $20,000. Lynn, you have $1,800 <laughs> so far. The score is 19 to 13. If you get six of them, it'll be a tie. We'll go to a tiebreaker. If you get them all... You'll try for $20,000. <laughs> Elaine, are you the lady that's going to do the giving here? <laughs> you did, you did. That's all. That's awful. right. All right. Please describe these Academy Award winners. I knew it! <laughs> really? All right. Here you go. Honey. Academy Award winners. They need 20. Ready. Go. 
Uh, for Cabaret, she's in the Liza act. Minnelli. Uh, uh, for On the Waterfront, the actor. Jack, no. Um, uh, streetcar Named Desire. Hey, he talks like this with a leather jacket. Um, Blackboard Jungle. No, go on. Okay, pass it. Uh, she just won for Julia. Julia. For, she just won for Julia. Um, the, Lee Bowman. The supporting actor um, from Julia. Jane, Jane Fonda. The, uh, Lynn's sister. Oh, Redgrave, Vanessa Redgrave. Next. Uh, Chinatown, the actor who got Jack, his nose cut. Um, Nicholson. Right. Jack Nicholson. Uh, married to Paul Newman. Joanne Woodward. Right. Oh, ladies, that's a shame. That was Marlon one you Brando. felt good about going in and it didn't work out. That's a shame. That's a shame. Marlon Brando cost you the, the win. You have $1,800? That's terrific. Thank you that's so wonderful. very much. Kathy, that's good news for Again, you. Let's like person who doesn't deserve no, the lose. Good players. Sensation. Let's try for $10,000. Give me your teeth there. Oh, good yeah. Kathy, you have an opportunity to win $10,000. You couldn't be in better hands. Much good luck to both of you. Here's your first subject. Go. Salt. Pepper. Spices. Thank you. Thank you. Little big man. Uh, uh, a midnight cowboy. Oh, um, Chris Christopherson movies. Uh, um, uh, Dustin Hoffman. Right. Music, a G string. Things they have in a stripper that a stripper plays to? A mosquito, a fresh guy. Things you slap. Yes. A malt, uh, a clock. Things uh, you shake? Yes. Smallpox. Diseases. Um, uh, tetanus. Shots that you get, immunizations, uh, small vaccines. Lovely. Oh, we're still here? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I, I said, don't panic, Tony. No, this was one of your very reserved days. It was too easy. That was the only... That was the only... That, that was did the only time it's ever been easy. No, easy for you. She did all the work. Oh, no, you did. He gave, he gave clues no, that you had to just... He is so him. succinct. Sometimes. So sometimes. But that, that was one of the few times it's ever been easy. It doesn't take it. You're fantastic. You're fantastic. On that happy note, we'll see you the next time for now, oh, Dick Clark. So long. Today's consolation prizes are from Tally Industries and easy to read digital dial light by West Clocks, compact, accurate front set time and alarm West Clocks, and Hawaiian Tropic natural tanning lotions and oils, scent of coconut, ten of the islands, Hawaiian Tropic, plus Lowry's beef jerky and beef sticks, delicious beef snacks and cans to stay fresh longer. Perfect family snacks from Lowry's. Also glad stand-up storage bags, stand up, stay open, leave hands free. Thick, strong for anything you want to freeze or refrigerate. And Baraxo, waterless or powdered hand cleaners. They take on the dirtiest hands. Tough but gentle, Baraxo, the grease specialist. And Orange Crush, the smooth, fresh, lightly carbonated soft drink. Crush, to taste it all on its own.
Dick Clark. Good day on the twenty thousand dollar pyramid. Yesterday we had a winner. We had a couple of games that were just nip and tuck a tie. Everything. Did you, you see what he did even... before we walked on? I caught that little action. I wasn't you going to mention. You saw too? Yes. yes. <laughs> Mr. Randall, you know, have you ever played this game uh, before uh, with he as your opponent? No, and it, I just know now that it's true. He's one of the great leches in the business. Yes. The, uh, <laughs> the um, most dangerous part of this game when Tony is here transpires the moment before the ladies come you on stage. You know it. <laughs> yes. We may put a hidden camera back there. Could you uh, stand up under that sort of scrutiny? Yes. <laughs> Dirty old man. While you're with, uh, with us, your partner's name, Tony, is Patty Keller, and she's a student of what, Patty? Well, I'm a student at the University of Delaware, and I'm studying French and political science. We wish you much good luck here. On the other hand, the gentleman is going to start first since he's seated with the lady. This is Rob Fromm, and where are you from, Fromm? Well, I'm from Brooklyn, Dick. What do you do there? Are you? Do you well, I don't here? do anything. No, I'll be working in the city at the U.N. At the U.N.? Mm. Much good luck to you, sir. You're Thank going to start you. our game in a moment. Elaine, if you will, check these subjects. Neck and neck, going my way, small talk, the amateur hour, working clothes, white on white, and what's the choice? Uh, the amateur hour. Uh, he has is changed it, huh? his mind more times. <laughs> he has a right to change his mind. That's not That's only enough. a woman's prerogative, but a man's. All right. You are to describe these things you see at an amateur contest, and you have 30 seconds. If you give part of the answer, a word that conveys the essence of the answer, that's what happens. These are things you see at an amateur contest. Ready? Go. Uh, the person who... The uh, cheerleader, the no, judge, the, one who... the audience. No, the, like in here, when you make the pyramid, it's you're the... The, uh, the, the contestant. Pass it. Uh, the... Uh, the uh, opera. Uh, opera, the high aria. High voice, high the, voice. Uh, uh, soprano. Uh, and the guy with the dummy. Ventriloquist. Uh, and ba 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 Elaine, you can sometimes go for an office. You can say, not the loser, but the... Oh, darn it. It's easy right. afterwards. All right. Uh, Tony? Yeah. Uh, Patty and I have decided white on white. White on white. All right. I should mention the seven. You know the story on that if it happens. Tony, please describe these things that are white. Things that are white. Ready? Go. You write on the board with... A uh, chalk. Mm -hmm. um, the elephant's... Tusk. Mm -hmm. uh, that comes out of your hair. Dandruff. Dandruff. Mm -hmm. um, on a boat, the canvas. The ma uh, mass, sail. Mm -hmm. uh, you wrap up a sword. Bandage. Mm -hmm. uh, you, not your red, but your uh, white. White, white cross, white. Uh, in your blood. White blood cells. Um, white blood cells. Not white the corpuscles. Red. Right. Um, a flower. Uh, a daisy. A uh, uh, chrysanthemum. It's too too difficult. Let's go on the next one. That's the only one. All right. Sorry about that. that was the last one, Tony. How? How would you give gardenia? Those give them in high school corsages, and they have a pungent odor. That's all I can think of. Yeah. Did you ever give a gardenia corsage? Yes. A poor old lady, I remember it well. <laughs> Selling gardenias I've, on wait, the street. I've opened up a whole new set of... I'm sorry I asked. Her poverty. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Elaine, stand by, please. Oh. Rob, which one do you want? How about, um, small talk? Please describe for your partner. Whoopsie, Daisy. Hey! There you go. Having just mentioned the seven, this is your opportunity to win a $500 bonus if you mm -hmm. get seven out of seven. He's going to describe for you, Elaine, these big things with short names. Big things with short names. Big things with Ready? Short names. Go. Uh, an airliner, or a 707? A jet. Right. Okay, the Wizard of? Oz. Okay. And uh, 2,000 pounds is? Ton. Right. Okay, and the big continent, not Europe, but? Asia. Right. Okay, and uh, it's an inlet, like water. Uh, Peninsula. Island. No, 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 uh, water. It's surrounded by land. Island. It's a small word. Um, Pool, a tub. Okay, skip it. A water hole. Okay, uh, the, uh, it carries uh, a load on its back. It's an animal, the burden of beast. The elephant. No, no, Camel. No, 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 it has horns. It's a water. Buffalo. Something like that. A bison. Oh, mm, boy. Um, <laughs> um, tough break. An ox. An ox. What was the one I got? Uh, what was what the was bay, the water? sitting the on bay. the dock of the oh, bay. Oh, the bay. That was the only clue I could think of. But oh, that was a tough rate. Yeah. Uh, nine to six is oh. the score. Patty? Uh, we decided working clothes, please. Please describe for Tony these people who wear uniforms. People who wear uniforms. Ready? Go. Not a doctor, but a... Nurse? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, she cleans your house. Maid? Mm -hmm. uh, in a theater, he takes you to your Usher? Seat. Uh, on the boat, he's the head of the boat. Captain? Mm -hmm. uh, a boy or a girl uh, when they're Scout? at school. Right. Uh, he puts out a flame. He puts out flames. Fireman? Mm -hmm. uh, a Canadian. Mountie. Right. All right, that's the perfect score. With 10 seconds left, we got, we got seven in 20 seconds. You're good. Lots of time left he over. Rob good. and Elaine, you have neck and neck and going my way. Going my way. How do you want to play it, sir? I'll give. All right, Rob, describe for your partner. These things that go back and forth. Things mm -hmm. that go back and forth. Ready? Go. Okay, these things you sway Lips. your... Okay. And uh, you, you travel on the train, you're a... Commuter. Right. Okay, and the pit and the... Pendulum. Right. Okay, and on your uh, car, on the Windshield. front... Windshield. Uh, Wiper. The whole thing? Okay. And um, a special train that only makes a couple of stops. It's an express. No, another name for oh, it. Oh, Amtrak's... Uh, it's uh, a... Uh, 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 it's uh, If you don't open, you... you uh, you close. No, no, no. Uh, uh, okay, skip it. Uh, Commuter. Mm, uh, a god at a... Uh, oh, oh get it. god. Mm, that was tough. A okay, a shuttle. You're not a New Yorker, are you? Rob, Rob you're a New Yorker and you didn't say Grand Central to Times Square? There's a shuttle in the... Uh, in the uh, uh, We've uh, missed you. Uh. <laughs> Uh, where's the other in Washington? Isn't there a shuttle between the House of Congress and uh, the yeah. Senate to the chamber? And there's an air shuttle between New York and Washington and New York and Boston. Yeah. I'm uh, so glad I know all. Rob, my friend, it's I'm sorry time. to tell you, but at least you have the consolation in knowing that you were consistent. Mm. You, know, you had three Thank bad you. breaks, not just one. Uh, I'm afraid it's a fait accompli the way Patty and Tony are going here. They, all they need is one. Who's going to do the, uh, the coup de grace? You're going to describe these things found on the neck. Things found on the neck, and you only need one to win the try. Ready? Go. A baby wears this so the food A doesn't... Bib. That's it. <laughs> Congratulations, folks, Rob. Thank you. You're too good. good. Consolation gets you good. Patty, let's go over there and try for $10,000. You may have bad luck. I know. Why? Very bad luck. Well, good luck to you. I hope you win. There you go. How do you forget what you say you were studying? Uh, French and political science. Um, everything you ever go through and everything you ever learn in your vocabulary and the, the ability to work under tension, it all works here. You were pointing out that uh, the lady yesterday with Marlon Brando. Yes. That cost her cost yeah. the game, didn't it? Only because she blocked, because of course she knew it. It just wouldn't come. That does happen, especially with the clock ticking away. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of the best players we have at the game, and I've seen mm -hmm. him block. He's not going to do it now. Oh, I've done it. Do you work this chair as well as that one? No. No, I give better. All right, let's do it. $10,000, I remind you about that terrible sound ring that thing bit. You know, enough not to stop when we hear that there's been an error of some sort. Good luck, folks, for $10,000. Here's your first subject. Go. Derbies. Kinds of hats. Oh, phrenology, numerology, astrology. Studies, uh, um, things you study in school. Black cats. Oh, superstitions. If I am elected to office. What a what a candidate would say. Uh, an automobile, a dressing room. Things with lights. Um, an actor's dressing room. A ladies' dressing room. This is like a mirror. Yes. Cats. A uh, police cars. He's a siren. Scream. Screech. Um. Whale. Uh. Burglars. Uh. uh things that tread. Things that creep. Uh, things well, that, that. We'll come back count. to it. Next, please. Uh. uh Minsky's. Uh, uh, famous uh, bars, famous restaurants. Uh. Uh, speakeasy. Oh, raids. Uh, yeah. Things raised. You got that one. Let's go back. Oh, uh, we got it. Cat. Up for me. <clears throat> we'll give you, uh, we got the last one. What? Huh? We, we just ran out of time. Ah. Uh, you have, uh, we have some time here before we go into the second part of the program. Give her some more on that one because you gave great clues. Cats, police cars, burglars, <clears throat> um, a patrol car. A patrol in the army. Oh, yeah. A cat burglar, Bob Clayton, I guess. Creeper. You're, you're, in, exactly you're into right. it. Yes. A night nice burglar. Uh, a single man. man. <laughs> You'll get it. Take a look at 
We'll, we'll be right back in a second. Patty, you've got $450 so far. I should have said someone in a single star. It's an obscure word. You're either going to get it. So the patrol car is called the prowl oh, car. Right. That's why I kept coming back to that. I knew it was in my mind, yeah. and I just couldn't think of that word. Really. As we get underway one, uh, one more time, Tony Randall's out touring the country in The Music Man, and I see Elaine Joyce in practically every television show I turn on. But I see you working alone in all these series and things. Are you ever going to partner up with your husband, Bobby Van? That's funny you should ask that. Strange I should ask that. It really place. is. What a coincidence. Because <laughs> just the other evening he asked me, when are we going to do something together? Well, seriously, are you? <laughs> It's Mr. Randall, there'll be no comments at this point. We are, we are going, going to play Las Vegas, I believe, in October together. They would like us to do an act together there. They've all called, so we're going to do it. Terrific. And aside Maybe from that, they're going to buy a backgammon set. What is he talking about? <laughs> Folks, they got to introduce the new player. Her name is Cheryl Stein. Cheryl, where are you from and what do you do? Um, I'm from New York originally. I live in Washington, D.C. now, and I'm a lawyer at the Civil Aeronautics Board. A lawyer? Yes. There you are. Wow, good for you. Thank you. All right. You two folks are going to start us off here in just a moment. These are the subjects. We have the go-getters hail to the chef. Notice that. A haunting refrain. Sock it to me, the Sunshine State. Tell me why Tony Randall makes the first selection. Tell me why. All right. Why'd you pick that one? Because I thought it would probably be words beginning or ending with Y, and that ought to be easy. These are people whose names end with the letter Y. People whose names end with the letter... <laughs> people whose names end with the letter Y. Ready? Go. He just died, the singer. Um, Elvis Presley. Mm -hmm. Um, he was on with Huntley. Brinkley. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the cop, uh, the detective in the comic strips. Uh, Dick Tracy. Uh-huh. Um, he played the piano, uh, violin. Jack Benning. Yes. Um, he was the original of uh, the Bond movies. Uh, Sean Connery. Uh-huh. Um, he, uh, he was always with, uh, with, uh, Jack, Jackie Gleason, you know. Uh, uh Art Carney. Uh-huh. Um, the famous lawyer. All right. Look at that last one. I oh. lost time. Yeah. I'm Jackie Gleason. I couldn't remember Jackie Gleason's name. Would you have had that one, Cheryl? Uh, Would you have thought of the famous lawyer whose name ends with Y since you are an attorney? Not with more of a clue than that, I think. Oh, um, F. Lee Bailey. Right. He's the guy that gets a lot of the spotlight all the time. Of course, starts six to nothing at the moment. Elaine? Huh? Hi. <laughs> oh, did you ask me? I'm sorry, we were in the middle of a discussion. I don't want to do you want to finish that or you want to pick Here it goes. One? Hail to the chef. <laughs> all right. It's about hail. Bad weather. <laughs> <laughs> a cook caught in a hailstorm. You're close. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. These are things associated with a chef. Things associated with a chef. Ready? Go. He bakes in it. Uh, oven. Right. Uh, he puts this on so he won't get dirty. Uh, apron. And this is, he mixes. Uh, also uh, called a uh, uh, stir. Right. And this is what, the green stuff that has Parsley. the chlorophyll. Right. And this is what you mix, what you pick up spatula. with. Uh, ladle. Right. And this is a uh, Reynolds wrap. Aluminum foil. Right. And this is a, a thing where you make rice and potatoes and meat in it, and it's uh, called a... Casserole. Right. All right. Handsome job. Oh, yeah, plenty of time. Patty, you keep that up. You'll be on your way to try for $15,000. You must win the first part of the game, of course. Cheryl, which one? Uh, I think we'll try the Sunshine State. Describe for Tony, please, uh, these things you see in Florida. Things you see in Florida. Ready? Go. Uh, not a crocodile, but... Alligator. Yes. Um, she fights against the gay rights movement, the singer. Nita Bryant. Yes. Um, not an orange, but the yellow, bigger one that you Great see fruit. in sections. Yes. Um, where you go, um, where all the, uh, Collins Avenue, where all the old Jews Miami, go. Miami, yes. Miami Beach. Yes. Um, the swamp with the alligators. Everglades. Yes. Um, when you buy an apartment, it's a... Condominium. Yes. And they play in a fronton with a pelota. The oh, game, the uh, Mexican yeah, game. Yeah, highlight. Yes. That's it. Thirteen to seven. Oh, you're good. Patty, we have go-getters. A haunting refrain and sock it to me. Uh, we decided on a haunting refrain. Please describe for Elaine Joyce these things associated with a haunted house. Mm -hmm. Things associated with a haunted house. Ready? Go. Uh, the top room. The attic. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, mist in Fog. London. Mm -hmm. uh, and what a board does when you step Creeks. on it. And uh, he wrote uh, the, the raven and the pit and the pendulum. Topo. Right. And... Um, uh, they found a dead corpse. Uh, another word, just your body. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
when you you lift up this thing and on the floor and you can Basement. go through it. No, it, what's the thing Secret called? Secret panel. That, yeah, what you open. Manhole. The, what you open is called the floorboard. Skip it. And uh, another word for ghost is a. Oh boy, 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 boy. Oh, 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 oh. Ladies, that's a funny turn of events. You had quite a substantial lead, and now you're trailing by a point. That gives you then the choice of go-getters and socket to me, Elaine. What'll it be? Choose. Or Patty, either one? Um, we'll take socket to me. And do you want I'll to give or receive? Mm -hmm. All right. Describe for your partner these things that hit other things. Things that hit other things. Ready? Go. Uh, this. Fist. Mm -hmm. Uh, the mean guy in school. They have, uh, the toughie. The kid, the kid, he's a real... Uh, he's a bully. Uh-huh. And uh, this ship sunk. Hit it Titanic. Mm -hmm. uh, a fly. You hit it with Swat. a swat. Right. A uh, swatter. Uh -huh. uh, this is on the front of your car. That hits. Bumper. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is what a tough guy. Knuckle. Put, brass uh, knuckle. Uh -huh. And uh, this is a division in fights. The highest. Uh, uh, heavyweight. Mm -hmm. That's it, ladies. You got them all. Uh, that's good and bad news, Elaine and Patty. You've got 19 points. That's a good score. Your opponent has 13. If you get them all, Cheryl, you'll win the try at the $10,000. You've got the screen. Do you want to leave it there? Yes. Describe for Tony Randall these things that people get. G-E-T. Things people get. You might elect to skip one and go for a tie if you want to. However, 20 will win the game. Things people get. Ready? Go. Um, a migraine is a... Headache. Yes. Um, if for a television show, you won them for the odd couple. Um, Nemi. Yes. Um, you get more pay, you get a... Raise. Yes. Um, if you're like, you're very tense, you're... Another Nervous. word for tense, yes. Um, hay fever is an... Allergy. Yes. Um, they, Ford gave one to Nixon. I grant you a... Pardon. Yes. Um, you have, if, if your name is good in the community, you have a good... Reputation. Yes. There it is. <laughs> Congratulations, Cheryl. Thank you. Tony, you've done a good job. As always, you win the try at the $10,000, and Patty, you take home $450. That's, That's great. Thank that you. was a funny turn of events there trap for a little door. bit. Uh, yeah, trap door. You'll remember that one for a long time. You know, again, we're in a situation where someone is losing who doesn't deserve to lose. This girl is sensational. Yes. Yeah. Are we all We've had the best players today. Good week. Let's go over and give it another try against the big board. Cheryl? You're great. Now, folks, <clears throat> you can't oh, think of anything to say? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing occurs to me. Oh, okay. How are you? Can we go home? <laughs> no, 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 you don't get off that easily. See, you fight your way to get over here, then when you get here, you want to leave before it's It's so scary. It's so scary. Tell me, I've yeah. been there. They won't let me back again, but I go there occasionally. Sit down. The best thing to do is try to forget all the people, all the lights, all the cameras, all right? Listen to two clues. He'll give you two at least, I'm sure, and they'll be right on the nose. For $10,000. Here's your first subject. Go. The president, the first Elected lady, officials, people the live Oval in the White Room. House. Think Pavarotti, Cheryl Mills, Renata Scotto, Caruso, Joan uh, Sutherland. Opera singers. Everyone says I'd bury my head in the sand, but I what don't. What an ostrich would say. Uh... Pancakes, dishes, things a gorgeous girl with big breasts. A, a dish, um, things that come in a plate. Uh, a gorgeous girl with a great figure. Pancakes, pancakes, uh, wheat cakes. Um, let's go on, we'll come back to that one. Um, John Bowles, uh, Jerry Colonna. Gangsters? Uh, no, singers, uh, Italians. Jerry Colonna. Um, Oh dear, um, John Barrymore, uh, Charlie Chaplin, uh, Hitler, people with mustaches. Hitler, yes. Yes. Um. <laughs> All right, time ran out. Let me try one on it. A gorgeous, a gorgeous girl now. with a great figure and the deck. And hey, hey, very good. I'm not getting hey. anything. Uh, I, John Bowles. John Bowles. He gave her John, the other one gave her John Bowles and Jerry Colonna, both of whom are way before her time. 
Not before my time. That's Jerry is a, I must tell you, Jerry Colon is a very famous comedian. He worked with Bob Hope for many years. I've a heard lovely the name, man. When he said famous gangsters, he's got to fall down and say, oh, no, oh, no, no, no. No. I, we, I, it was a guess. We were working on things that are stacked. Now, that again isn't is a, a puppy. Isn't a beautiful girl with a great figure? Yes, said, and so are, it was, yes, I was getting no picture. Now, what else, what else should I do? A thick stack of cards. Yeah. Very good. Yes, yeah, stack deck. Cheryl, you have $250 with you, right? It was, I was getting It's hard. No, you go to pieces here. Now, who would you think of with a mustache? Groucho Marx. Yeah. It's funny. As soon as he said Try me again. Try me again. Oh. People with mustaches. John Bowles. <laughs> Cheryl, I'm going to relieve you of this agony tomorrow. You'll be over here safe and sound. We'll see you then. Oh. Today's consolation prize is out the Jovan collection of aftershave colognes for men. Exciting musk oil, grass oil, ginseng, sex appeal, and Monsieur Jovan. Wear them all. And ceilings by Celotex. A wide variety of patterns, colors, textures. Beautiful, easy to install. They enhance any room. Plus Armour's old world favorites, a tantalizing variety of salamis that makes a trip to your refrigerator seem like a trip to Europe. Also, fab laundry detergent with real borax for a clean you can see, a clean you can smell that's really clean. And Hires Root Beer, America's original root beer, is still number one. Hires the great American root beer. And Banquet Man Pleaser Dinners, the big meal for big appetites. More meat, potatoes, and vegetables than our regular dinner. was that you were doing? <laughs> dignity. dignity. Dignity, yes. It was the tortoise and the hare. No, <laughs> it's dignity. It's my new image. I'm not going to behave like a nut anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Jackie Louie was here not too long ago, and we had computer problems, and everything went upside down. And today, it's your fate. You're going to be partnered with Mr. Randall. That's OK. I think it's good luck. You know it. <laughs> he, is, he is a great player. Welcome aboard. Uh, you'll be trying for $15,000. We'll start the game with you in a moment. Let me say hi to the ladies. That's a lovely thing you have on. Can we see it again? Thank you. Would you stand up? Sure. Oh, I could love every minute of that. Hey! I'll, do, is... I'll, I'll do anything to distract Tony so yeah, that I can win. Yeah, he's going to want to stand up and show us the lining of the jacket. What is the lining oh, this, today? Oh, this one's just an orange. Oh. <laughs> Uh, uh, Neon, Cheryl, welcome back. Thank you. You two are trying for $15,000. Ladies, uh, let's start the game with Jackie and Tony in a moment after I review the subjects. We have Truth Seekers, Hooray for Hollywood, The Big Scoop, The Grass is Always Greener, Nine is Fine, Second Hand, and Tony, which one would you like? Jackie and I have discussed it, and we've agreed on Nine is Fine. That may be the one with the seven. It is not. All right. It may play later on today. Of course, these are nine-letter words. You'll have 30 seconds in which to describe them. Don't use part of the answer or a word that conveys the essence of the answer. If it does, the bird sounds off. And again, Jackie, these are nine-letter words. Ready? Go. A squeeze box. Um, uh, organ grinder. Um, um. Concertina, you know. Um, I don't know. I don't. Spain. All right, let's go on to the next um, one. All right. Uh, when you write a number of sentences, then you skip a space and another group. Paragraph. Yes. 
All right. Uh, where the monks live? Uh, the monastery. Uh-huh. Uh, you, uh, you talk to one of these? Uh, uh, megaphone. Yes. Um, you study in school history and the... the Subject. The, the um, earth. Uh, the earth. Um, the study, uh, geography. The, that's right. Um, when you make a signed... Autograph. Something. No, but when the you... Signature. Uh, 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 mm. Boy, we didn't get anywhere. Oh, Statement. I'm sorry. The first one was accordion. It's an easy one. We wasted time oh, on it. I'm yeah. sorry. Accordions, I want to slow you down a little bit. Let's see what happens now, Jackie, as we turn to Elaine. Which one would you like? Oh, we would like truth seekers. All right. Please describe these people who ask for advice. People who ask for advice. Ready? Go. Uh, not the groom, but the bride. Uh -huh. And uh, the man who drives the airplane. A pilot. And this is a, a little person. Your child? Right. And this is somebody who's not a professional, they're an amateur. And this is somebody who comes in to buy something in a store. A customer, a client. And this is uh, somebody who, in court, it's... Uh, uh, the witness, the, the, the uh, defendant. Yes, right. And this is a private uh, detective. A private... Uh, Look at that again. Uh, uh, oh, somebody who uh, puts their money in stock. Sorry Invested. about that, it was a misread, obviously. Score six to four, Jackie. You've still got a good shot of catching up here and rolling ahead. Which one do you want? We would like the grass is always greener, please. All right, let's see what it holds. You are to describe for Tony these things that are uh, found outside a house. Okay. Things that are found outside a house. Mm -hmm. Ready? Go. This is where you keep your car. Garage. Right. Um, this is a, uh, a, a blank blue breast, um, a bird. Robin. Right. Uh, this is where you grill and you have charcoal and steaks. Barbecue. Yes. Um, this is, it opens a fence. A Gate. Bit. Yes. Um, this is not a shrub, but a... Bush. Yes. Uh, this is uh, where you, a porch. It's where you have the cookouts. It's on the ter Patio. terrace. Right. And this is where you hang your dirty laundry. Uh, you hang it on the... Uh, uh, clothesline. Yes. There it is. All right. Seven. Yes. <laughs> Patio's not a porch. I don't care. It's not a porch. Eleven to six is the score, and Cheryl, you have the choice. I'll try second hand. Second hand it is. Please describe for Elaine these things you do with two hands. Things you do with two mm -hmm. hands. Ready? Go. Uh, what you do in a, a boat. You row. Yes. Um, applause. Yes. Um, what you do with dough. Knead it. Yes. Um, you play this with a catty cake. Yes. Um, not crocheting, but with two needles. Embroidering. No, two needles. I'm, uh, oh, knitting. Do it. Yes. Um, in a car? Drive. With the wheel? Fear. Yes. Um, you do it with clay? Mold. Yes. Wow. All right. Good game, 13 to 11. Choices are hooray for Hollywood and the big scoop, Jackie and Tony. Big scoop. Who's going to do it? You didn't want that one, Elaine? Oh, now I do. <laughs> no, <all right. laughs> Tony, uh, you've got the screen. Have you elected to give the clues here, right? Yes. yes. Please describe for you. Want to change your mind? No. All right. Is that it? All right. Things associated with ice cream. Things associated with ice cream. Ready? Go. You eat it off a cone. Mm -hmm. uh, when you put the chocolate across it, it's a uh, hot fudge sundae. Mm -hmm. uh, you, when you let it go Milk. like this, uh huh? Um, <laughs> when's the last course of a meal? It's the dessert. Mm -hmm. um, when you do this with it? Shake, malt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, half a quart is a... Pint. Mm -hmm. um, it comes in 32 delicious... Flavors. Uh-huh. Uh, That's um... it. <laughs> Lady wins a $500 bonus. <laughs> Nicely done. Jackie, uh, prior to this, you'd won $350, so you have $850. Now, let's turn and see now, as the score stands, 18 to 13, what Cheryl and Elaine are going to do. Who's going to give? I am going to give. Cheryl, describe for your partner these things in a movie studio, and you need 19 points, six out of seven, 19 to win the try at the $15,000. These are things in a movie studio. Ready? Go. Uh, what they the take camera. pictures with, yes. Um, you put it on your Makeup. face. Makeup, yes. Um, you do this to your hair. If it's too long. Curl it. If you it's clip too long. it. You trim it. Oh, I got it. Yes, okay. Um, he was Rocky, and he's in fit Sylvester Stallone. Yes. Um, where you put on your costume and your makeup. Dressing room. Yes. 
Um, not, um, if, if the person they use back up in scenes. Somebody who just stands Yes. That's it. It's a win. Ah, darling. Second to spare. Congratulations, Cheryl. We've got $250 so far. Jackie? No, fine. You picked up another $500 today. Thank you, Thank you so much for Don't doing it. Don't go away. Okay. <laughs> Isn't he nice? <laughs> I know him better than you do, my dear. <laughs> Cheryl, come to the winner's circle. Let's win some big money here. <laughs> Me neither. Tension, tension, tension. Don't say that! <laughs> You ladies have crossed and uncrossed your legs about 74 times in the last 60 seconds. Are well, you all? I don't, sometimes you think that's lucky, you know? Whatever makes you happy. <laughs> Are you ready? Because it's so comfortable sitting sure here. Sure it is, with the lights and the thing. There's $15,000 at stake. Oh. Remember, if you get stuck, skip it, come back. Okay. If you hear the buzzer, like that, don't ask about it. You know all those things. Right. Okay, good luck. Here's your first subject. Go. The knob, the peak hole, uh, things in the a door. Thing. Oh, I just love my husband, Lee Majors. Something Sarah Fawcett would say. Liberty, Michelangelo David, Venus Statues. De your blouse, your cuffs, your shirt. Things that you iron, things that you wear. Things your skirt. Um, pass it. Next one, please. Next, please. Uh, a fisherman's catch, uh, a butterfly catch in a net, uh, a flame, uh, things that burn, things that give light, uh, things that are uh, hot, uh, embers, glowing embers, uh, things that shine, things uh, that light, things uh, that are bright. Your eyes. Mm. Oh. Don't turn around for a minute, Cheryl. You know, every now and again, you, you think I got the perfect clue and it's going to give her the answer. Watch her spit out the right answer to the first one when I say old-fashioned high shoes. Things with platforms? Mm. Oh, <laughs> things with buttons. Things with buttons. There right. you are. Okay. No, that was the one. The other one, I don't have a, I don't have a perfect one. Old-fashioned movies. Old-timey movies. Old-timey movies. movies, Bob Clayton suggests for the next one. Fireflies. Fireflies. Lovely things from Tony Randall. <laughs> I have, I'm blank. Oh, uh, a, a big cigarette lighter. You... Think that you click. <laughs> no, what is it, what's that advertising phrase? Your bick. Click your bick, I no, 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 close, close. <laughs> click your bick. Flick. And what is it we're looking you, you for? You can tell I'm good for commercials. Things that, uh, what? Flicker. There yeah. you go. Oh, okay. Would you let her get away with that? Yeah, yeah I guess so. No objection, otherwise you go, bleh. You have $500, Cheryl, we'll be back in a second. The $20,000 pyramid continues now with Elaine Joyce partnering with Paul Kreiner. And Paul, what's your job? What do you do? Uh, I'm a student at Wayne State University. What are you studying, sir? Theater. Nice to have you with us. Elaine, the man uh, seated opposite you or across the way to your left is uh, currently on tour. And the music man, how many weeks is that, Tony? We'll be out 14 weeks. Where are you right now this week? Uh, this week we're in Tulsa. Next week we're in... Oh, no, he's got to bring that list out yes, again. I'm... Wait a minute. I have... Indianapolis. Yeah, and millions Fort of people Wayne. do want to know Fort Wayne next week. <laughs> <laughs> it's Needless... a good thing I've got a sense of humor. Then Indianapolis. <laughs> St. Louis, Chicago, Toronto. Thank you. And in August, we end up in three weeks in Baltimore. All right. I, really, I know it's a good show. Oh, good luck. Cheryl. I can't wait to say hello to all my friends out there across America. <laughs> you don't want to give that the ticket prices and the times or anything like that? No. <laughs> all right. Fair enough. Cheryl, you're yes. up to $20,000 here, and you yes. have accumulated five hundred so far. Elaine, you'll start the game in a second. We have Run For It, All in Fun, Hang Ups, Cry Wolf, Get It Together and Dig It. What's your pleasure? Run For It. All right. Please describe for your partner these things that make other things run. Uh -huh. These things make other things run. Ready? Go. Uh, the, the car motor. Uh, an engine. Uh, this is where you go over in a barrel. This water. Uh, waterfall. Niagara Falls. And uh, this is the guy who employs you. He's called... Uh, your, your boss, your right. employer. 
And this is what you shoot somebody with. It's a gun, small gun. pistol, uh, derringer. And uh, this is a, a, a guy who takes care of uh, lions. Uh, lion tamer. Right. Um, and this is what you dig in a mine. Uh, coal. Right. And this is what you say on a ship. The very elegant ship ahoy. people. Very elegant bon voyage. People. Oh, no, no. Uh, no. When was, when was the last time you went fox hunting? <laughs> I think that's where they say, Tally Ho. Do they? I think so. I haven't been on a lot of fox hunts myself. I thought it was a boat. Tally Ho. Uh, I, whatever. I think, that, I think that's Ahoy. Oh. Yeah. Tony, what's your pleasure? Uh, because we can't figure out at all what it must be about, we're going to go for Cry Wolf. Tally Ho. <laughs> <laughs> No, you may be surprised to know, sir, that these things are associated with a wolf. Things associated with a wolf. Perfect. Ready? <laughs> Go! Wait, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Shh. Look at the screen. Set it up. Go. His pause. Mm -hmm. Pause. Um, the the uh, story about the little girl who went to a see grandma. Yes. Uh huh. Uh, these. Her teeth, fang. Uh huh. Uh, on his back is a, what do you have? Fur? W wolves travel in a... Pack. Uh-huh. Um, the, the uh, porcine scene figures, uh, there were this many. Three little pigs. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, Henry Hull of London. Oh, in the movies, you know, a kind of a monster. Werewolf. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, All right. And on the note. Paul, your pick, please. Hang-ups, please. Hang-ups is the choice. Please <laughs> describe these things that people hang on to. Things people hang on to. Ready? Go. Uh, this is when you jump out of a plane. Parachute. Right. Um, this is when you're employed, you have... A boss? No. A job. Right. Uh, this is when you write um, something and send it through the mail. You write a... Letter. Right. Uh, this is what you put on when the ship is sinking. A life Stay jacket. Home. Right. Right. May oh. West. Oh, okay. Life jacket, lifeboat. Um, Lifesaver. No, it's... A skip vest, it, skip it. Life Go on, vest. go on. Next. Uh, this is... Grapes grow on a... Vine. Right. Uh, this is when you, you forget something, you have a, have a bad... Mm, sorry. Oh, okay. Paul, I'm sorry. They wanted the lady to say preserver, and they hung in for that word. That was the reason they didn't want to go ahead. Ten to six. Oh. Cheryl? Uh, dig it. Dig it. Mr. Randall Describe says that will be for easy. Mr. Randall, these things you dig up. Things you dig up. Ready? Go. Um, a tuber, Idaho. Potato. Yes. Um, uh, the thing, your cranium is your... Skull. Yes. Um, not silver, but... Gold. Yes. Um, uh, uh, somebody wrapped all, an Egyptian person wrapped all Mummy. the cloth. Yes. Um, uh, things you pull out of your garden because you don't want them Weed. there. Yes. Um, you leave this so a detective can find the answer to the mystery. You Clues. Leave. Yes. And, um, everything in Athens is all, and if it's falling apart, they're all, they have a lot Ruins. of these. Yes. That's it. <laughs> Very good. We've got a comfortable three-point lead at this point. However, it depends on this last round. Paul and Elaine, all in fun or get it together? What would you like? All in fun. And how do you want to play it, Paul? I'll receive. <clears throat> Describe, Elaine, for your partner, these comedy performers. Comedy performers. Choice, yeah. Ready? Go. Uh, the Tonight Show. Uh, Johnny Carson. Uh, the Funny Lady, Ugly Comic. Ugly uh, comedian. Phyllis Diller. Uh, uh, he has his own show with Suzanne Plachette. Um, uh, funny Guy, Dry Humor with a no, Telephone. Um, He's always on the Bob, telephone. Bob Newhart. Right. Uh, this is a guy who does impersonations. And uh, Rich Little. Right. And this is a woman who does a one-woman show here, and she's doing moment to moment with John Travolta. Uh, 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 Flowers, her first name. Pass it. Go on. Uh, this is the guy with the cigar. He dresses in drags. Old-time comic. Paul Bill. Mm, too bad, folks. I tried. It's Lily Tomlin. Oh, it's Lily. Forgive me. Dynamite clues. No, you were right on the nose, but that category called for a lot of uh, explanation description. And Phyllis Diller is not ugly, but I mean, she <laughs> listen. She tries. She tries she to be plays. to have an image, and she's really a wonderful, a beautiful lady. And I didn't mean that. I was just trying to make him win. All lady comedians play ugly. <laughs> what is that? It's interesting. All lady comedians play ugly. The basic joke with every comedian is, "I'm not attractive." Is that right? 
Notice it philosophically. Notice ball. I don't think we'll uh, <laughs> no. We'll think about that. Meanwhile, you've got to get two points here. <laughs> two points to win the game. 15 to 14. Cheryl, do you want to give and he'll receive yes. his edit? Yes. Please describe for your partner these things that are joined together. Well, things that are joined together. You okay. need 15. Ready? Go. Um, you get them out of an oyster, a fine, a white Pearl. thing. Yes. And the country we live in. America. Uh, United States of America. Yes. That's it. Congratulations, Cheryl. Paul, consolation gift to you. Let's go to the winner's circle. Good luck. Come on, win it. Cheryl, yes. when you're not with us, you are an attorney, right? <laughs> yes, Would I am. Would you like going to go back to the bar when. immediately? <laughs> Are you ready, sir? Oh, I hope so. Uh, she's won $500, hopefully on her way to 20000 Here's your first subject. Go. Pisces, Aries. Uh, time to the zodiac. Oh, doctor, I have these terrible dreams. My mother keeps... Something you tell a psychiatrist. Yes. Yeah. We'll take that. Casablanca, the petrified Ingrid Bergman, forest. Humphrey Bogart movie. Yes. Ice. Things that uh, are cold, things that melt. Um, things you keep in the freezer. Oil on the street. Oil things on water. Things that are slippery. Things uh, that... Uh, oil, oil, things. oil on water. Oh, God. Oil on the, on the floor. Uh, Wax on the floor. Things that shine, things that are slippery, things... And let's come back to it. Next. Um, uh, an electric light plug. Things that are slimy. Uh... Uh, things with prongs. Things that you put in Electric light, the, uh, the female plug. Um, uh, uh, ten foot poles. Um, uh, oh dear. <laughs> things you wouldn't touch. Things you wouldn't touch. Yeah, things, things, you wouldn't touch. The, things you don't touch with. <laughs> no, that was, that was a good one. The other one, uh, wet paint was uh, another one I was thinking. Yeah. What was the song? Oil oh. on water. Oil on water. Uh, Boy, that's tough. Things that beat up. A fifties hairdo. I don't know what. Things that are greasy. And we're in the Flick. whole slick. Slick. Yeah. Slick. We're just well, 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 a winter course. street. They always talk about being slick or whatever. Sharon, you're up to six hundred and fifty dollars, and we'll be back in a second. Thank you very much. The ten for three. Slick. We're still wrestling with things that are slick. <laughs> I'll leave you with that wonderful thought until tomorrow. Lane, you'll okay. return. Tony, we'll see you then. We're going to move you over here, my dear, tomorrow, and I'll see you then. For now, Dick Clark, so long. Today's consolation prize is our La Machine by Moulinex, the food preparation system from France, like having a professional chef right at your side. And Mary Kay Cosmetics, skin care and glamour cosmetics, presented to you in your home by trained beauty consultant Mary Kay Cosmetics. Also, Panel Magic, the original cleaner beautifier, specially formulated for wood paneling and woodwork, Panel Magic. Also, noodle roni parmigiano, five-minute side dish, tender thin egg noodles, rare seasons and cheeses, a bit of old Italy. And foil, first aid spray, cooling, soothing spray for fast relief of sunburn, minor burns, and skin irritation, spoil. And Chunky, four delicious family-sized bars, breaks into 24 thick bite-sized pieces, Chunky thicker or chocolate.
Today's special guests are Jamie Lee Curtis and George Maharis. And now, here is your host, Dick Clark. Oh, hi. I hope all's well with you today on a Tuesday. Welcome to the $20,000 Pyramid. We've got Jamie Lee Curtis over there doing her warm-up exercises and all of that. Get the blood circulating. You got your little punk rock thing growing hey, out of the man, top of your head know. there. That's cute. Unicorn. Does that know? have a name, that hairstyle? I don't know. I Sam. The unicorn. Yeah? Lovely. Dave Z. Handelar. Right. Hey, Z. Hey. Handler. Z. Handler. Right. Well, Z. Handler. It's getting better, isn't it's it? It's getting better. Tell me it just for my head. Already I'm prejudiced against you, Dave. <laughs> Because your opponent's name, lovely lady, this is what I... This is Susan Smith. Yay! Now, <laughs> that was easy. I'm kind of to him. Susan, welcome. Where, where are you from? What do you do? I'm from Queens, and I work for Health Education and Welfare. We wish you good luck here. You Thank know you. I'm, I'm obviously, despite the fact that you're pretty and have an easy name, I am not prejudiced in your favor or his. <laughs> I'm a little prejudiced against George Maharis because he gives me a bad time every time he's oh, here. Oh, I love it. You're going to behave today. Oh, yes. Oh, you're going to start the game in a second. Oh, we too. are? Yes, sir. Oh, Please take wonderful. a look at these subjects. We have low fashion, ragtime, down in the mouth. We gather together two weeks off in foreign intrigue. Mr. Maharis, what is your pleasure? Well, Miss Smith would like low fashion. All right, we're looking for a seven along the way in this low game of the next one. And right. George is going to describe for you these things worn below the neck. Below and, the neck? Yes, sir. You've got 30 seconds. You give part of the answer word that conveys the essence of the answer. That's what happens. Things worn below the neck, and away we go. Ready? Go. This is a... Shirt. Uh, a th see-through thing that a woman wears. A blouse negligee. Right. Uh, a, a gun is in a... A holster. Uh, uh, a ballet lady wears this. Tutu. Right. Uh, a stripper wears this. A uh, G-string. Right. Uh, a cowboy wears them here. Starrips boots. Another word. Uh, boots, starrips. Yeah, they uh, have little points on them. Uh, studs, spats. Uh, a plan. Um, go on to the next one. Um, a Japanese. Kimono. Oh, tough. All right, you got All five right. out of seven. Spurs. Yeah. You said everything but spurs. For a lady from New York, you don't really <laughs> spurs all that Sorry often. About that. It's five out of seven. Jamie Lee, please. I think we're going to go with down in the mouth. All right, Sorry. let's see what that holds here. These are things that go into the mouth but are not eaten. Things that go into the mouth but are not eaten. Ready? And uh, put your head together. Um, go. The policeman blows his... A whistle. Thing. Yes. Um, uh, gum. Uh, yes. Um, dental thing floss. is string. Yes. Um, they put in mouth to know how hot you are. Uh, uh thermometer. Yes. Um, <laughs> a needle in a haystack. What is in the haystack? What is that a, made out a, of? A, uh, what is hay? Straw. Yes. Um, a harmonica. Yes. Um, you put in your mouth. Oh. Next. Oh, that's the last one. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Six out of seven, the score is a point apart. Six, two, five. Susan, please. Uh, two weeks off, please. Describe for your partner these things a man takes on his vacation. Things a man takes on his vacation. Ready? Go. I uh, use it to go to a foreign country. A passport. Right. Um, not a blonde or a redhead, but a... Brunette. Right. Uh, a road. You read directions on this. Map. Right. Uh, not dungarees, but denim. Uh, trousers. Uh, no, another name for denim. Uh, 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 it's also a man's name or a woman's name. Uh, I don't know. Go next on. Next one. one. Um, not spades or diamonds or hearts, but clubs. Right. Um, you use this when you charge something. You show them a credit card. Mm. No, what's it? No, I got that. Right. Um, After the buzzer. What was the other one? Dungarees. What? Jeans. Oh, jeans. jeans. I was trying to think of Autry's first name oh, or yes, Stapleton's right, right. first name. Then he would have said Maureen's. What do you want from me? No. Uh, well, we have to go. Nine to see. six. Dave? Uh, let's try foreign intrigue. All right. We're looking for a seven. It's not there. Could still be under one of the last two. Describe for Jamie these things in a spy drama. Things in a spy drama. Ready? Go. Uh, that you kill someone. A murder. Uh, he was a famous director of spy movies. Um, pass. He, he always was in his own movies? Hitchcock. Right. Uh, you wear one of these so you can't tell who you are? A mask. Another a word. A disguise. Right. Uh, in, in France, where you go to vacation, rich people? Um, the South France, the, um... Oh, um Italy, the, France, uh, France. Europe. Uh, go on. Uh, a, a microphone planted in a room. Uh, also uh, an insect. Um, um, a an bug. Insect. A bug. 
uh, the the British detectives in um, London. Mm, still wow. a point apart. Look at that, ten to nine. And what was um, what was no? I got him. Team that's behind has the choice. Uh, so that means Susan and George, you're. We gather together. All right, and who's going to give and receive? I will give. Describe for the lady these special gatherings. Special gatherings? Yes, sir. And Dave, excuse me, sir. Hold it to a minimum over there so they can concentrate. Special gatherings. Ready? Go. Just a moment. Go. Uh, when two people get together and they... Marriage. Put, yeah, another word Wedding for it. Wedding ceremony. Right. Uh, at the end of eight years of school, you... Oh, graduate, graduation, right. promote. Right. Uh, down in, uh, in, uh, in, um, in New Orleans, they have a big Mardi festival. Gras. Right. Uh, a Jewish boy at a certain Mardi age gets it right. Uh, a big football game. Uh, the, World the biggest Series, one. The biggest uh, one is called the what? Rose Bowl. Another uh, one. Uh, uh, a cotton bowl. It's like what you eat cereal out of. A what? Uh, go on the next one. Okay, next one. Uh, when you give a birthday party. Right. Um, okay, that's it. Super Bowl. <laughs> Susan, you're a big football fan, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> biggest football game of the year, the World Series. Right. Yes. <laughs> Hey, that's about what I know about baseball, so we're, we're even. All right, the score is 14 to 10. Who's going to do what over here? Jamie, describe for your partner these things that rhyme with the word rag, and you need a score of 15 in order to win this Rhyme thing. with the word rag. Yes, R-A-G, rag. Right. These things all rhyme with rag, and they need 15 to win the try at the $20,000 prize. Ready? Go. Um, a wife who bothers Mag. you. Yes. Um, I'm boasting. A brag. Yes. Um, um, something that droops. A sag. <laughs> and something that has a price. Tag. Yes. Um, a dog that's kind Wag. of... Wag. Shaggy. Yes. That's it. We're going to take that and away we go. The winner. Susan, thank you very much. You hear Bob Clayton mention all those things at the end of our show every day. You get a whole carload of goodies as a consolation <clears throat> gift. You've got seven hundred dollars now, Dave. You're going to try for twenty thousand. How are you going to play? Face away or what? I think Jamie Lee will give. Let's go over there and give it a try. Dave, if I were to write you out a check right now for um, sixteen thousand, would you take it? Definitely. <laughs> Son of a gun. I was hoping he was going to hang in there for the... Well, you're going to hang in no matter what, because I'm not going to do that. Uh, there's $20,000 at stake. If you do get stuck, skip it and come back. Yes. Much good luck to both of you for $20,000. Here's your first subject. Go. Um, fish, plankton... Things in the ocean. Yes. Things in the sea. Um, Telly Savalas, Yul Brenner. Uh, bold bold yes. men. The valve, the aorta... Parts of the heart. Yes. Um, jailhouse rock... Um, Elvis Presley songs. Yes. One, two, three. Numbers, uh, countdown. Um, uh, pass it. Next, please. Um, people, um, uh, a people, um, a horse to a buggy. That's descriptive. Now, carefully think about this one. one. Two, Picture it. I am. Ten, um. Numbers, counting, uh, amounts. Uh, um, I. D decimal I, places. Um, uh, one, two. Counting um, systems. E what you learn in school. X one, X two. Uh, square roots. Uh, X one, um, V one. M C I I X I I. Abbreviation. No, 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 no. I said X one, V one. Picture, picture V1. this. M C I I M C X X. Roman numerals. Yeah. There you go. I said like X. Uh, right. V1. Roman VI, I um, believe so it is. Things that are hitched. Roman numerals. Yeah. Things that are you hitched. You can't say things a horse yes, to I a wagon. Yes, I figured that after You I could said say, it. I think, Judge, could you say a horse and wagon? That would be our. A horse and wagon? Yeah. Uh, newly I married couple. Don't worry. Newly mar married people. Yeah. Things hitched. That are what hitched. else is hitched? A, a, horse, a horse and railing. A Husband and wife. Husband and wife, yeah. Right on the road. A who? A trailer. Trailer, a trailer and a car. A trailer, yeah. yeah. I would have never All right, in any car. case. Dave, you got $950. You're going to continue right after Roman. this. Yeah. Well, you yeah. Into the sunset, you're going to be. <laughs> All right.
decide we're going to hit that 20,000 in this next round, or my name ain't Bill Cullen, or whatever. Uh, let's see. Uh, George, you and Dave uh, are going to double up there, and Dave, you've got $950. Nice. How long's your visit in New York? Are you just vacationing there, George? I'll probably be on the airplane with you. Really? Yep. Yeah. All right. That's good. I'm, I'm going to Chicago. Is that where you're going? Yeah, as a matter of fact, yes. You're kidding. Yes. And then from there, I'm going to Florida. Then I'm going to New York. All right. But whatever you say, George, we'll follow I you, am in New York. to the ends of the earth. <laughs> Hey, let me check that, with this lady over Chicago here. Chicago was fine. New York, he blew that one, yes. Jamie, let me, let me ask you a question. Earlier in the game, we had Alfred Hitchcock pop up. You almost skipped that one. Your mom was in a Hitchcock movie once. Yeah, was but it, it, the clue was spy movies. Was it spy? It, it was spy things, so spy movies. Thrilling. You thought of thriller or... Yeah, spy-like oh, things. The film she was in was Psycho? Psycho, yes. Psycho, ah, Psycho. Ah. No. Oh, with that nice. little, <laughs> I'll tell him. With that little preamble, this is the daughter of Janet Lee and Tony Curtis. You're going to be in a movie called Halloween. Hey, hey, what is that? Oh, hey! Does it... Does it bear any resemblance at all to... Yeah, the, um, I get attacked with a butcher knife. Oh, uh, lovely. Yes, it's wonderful. It's, it's very a kid's scary. movie. Yeah, wonderful movie. Halloween. Babysitting. It's... We look forward to seeing it. Let me introduce your partner here. This yes. is Pamela Burton. Pamela? Nice to have you aboard. Where's Thank your you. home? Uh, New York. Well, welcome home. <laughs> All right, as long as you're here, make yourself at home and take a look at these subjects. We've got I've Got No Proof, Record Breakers, Pretty Maids in a Row, The Fuzz, A Soggy Story, It Gives You a Big Lift, and Jamie, It's Your Choice. We think The Fuzz. The Fuzz, the yes. man. Fuzzy uh, items, probably. <laughs> I was off on a whole different track here. These are men with beards. Oh, geez, men know. with beards. Oh, no. All right, stand by for oh, Men With Beards. Ready? Go. Um, the guy in Cuba. Uh, Fidel Castro. Yes. Um, the guy went over the hill with the tablets. Moses. Yes. Um, um, the, the, um, sci Abe the, Lincoln. The psychiatrist, the guy there. Freud. Yes, Thank Freud. you. Um, the guy who slept a hundred years. Rip Van Winkle. Yes. Um, he was in the, the Revolutionary War, I think, um, down in the Ulysses South. Ulysses S. Grant? Yes. Yes. Um, um, he made Touch of Evil with my mother. Uh, he's a director. To, um, uh, um, Otto Preminger. Um, uh, big fat man. Uh, uh, Orson Welles is the man we're looking for. What other movies did he do? Uh, uh, Citizen Kane. Citizen Kane. I'm so dumb. Citizen Kane. You ladies both placed U.S. Grant in the wrong war, but you I got him anyway. Right. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Five out of seven. George, there's a Good seven Lord. in this game, George. Where is the seven? Well, we'd like I've got no proof. Let's see if that's the one. No. It is not. Still there. Describe for your partner these non-alcoholic drinks. Non-alcoholic non drinks. Non-alcoholic oh. drinks. Ready? Go. That comes from a cow. Milk. Uh, afternoon in England. Tea. Right. Uh, it's dark and it's a... Coffee. Right. Another Cocoa. One. Right. Uh, this was a little actress, a child actress, curly hair. Shirley Temple. Right. Uh, that is a... A punch. Right. Uh, this comes from a hen. It's a... What? A hen lays a... Egg. Egg, egg yolk. Egg, egg nog. Right. Uh, this is, uh, what you put on your hair, it's a... Uh, ta um, shampoo. No, a thing, uh, uh, uh it's, it's, a, it's, it's... Alcohol. A, no, it's, uh, it's... Go on. Right, right, mm. up. Gin, gin and... I couldn't think of it. Tonic. Okay. Yeah, you got, you got yeah, hung on describing non-alcoholic drinks, but the tonic, tonic part was... wouldn't be. You could have said gin and, right. and that might have helped. In any case, quinine water, right? Isn't that what tonic is? Yeah. yeah. Not being a drinker, I wouldn't know. But... Very good. The way it ought to be. Pamela? It gives you a big lift. Ooh! Uh, <laughs> you are to describe for Jamie these things that lift other things. Things that lift other things. Ready? Go. Uh, not the bride, but the groom. Right. And uh, my high heels. Right. And uh, they put you in this, uh, an ambulance when you're sick. You, they lay you out on the. Uh, stretcher. Right. And uh, this brings the babies. He's a bird. A stork. Right. And uh, if you're not a boxer, you're you're another. It's a fighter. Not, uh, it's not a boxer. It's the person who grapple with each other. I'm um, a wrestler. Wrestler. Right. And uh, this is something that attracts metal. It attracts. A ma metal. Uh, magnet. Right. And uh, uh, blank in the dominoes. Um, uh, fats domino. Uh, um, uh, this is out a crane out with. <laughs> boy. Oh. Derek, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> Derek in the dominoes. She, she gave the only clue in the room that I knew. Dion. No, Dion. no, no, Derek, Derek. Eric, Derek, Eric Clapton played with a group called Derek and the Dominoes, for those of you who are aficionados of that kind of thing. Everybody's saying, who? What? <laughs> All right, 11 to 6. Uh, back we go with Dave. Uh, we'll try a soggy story. Please describe for your partner. Whoopsie, Daisy.
Dave, you can pick up a $500 bonus here by getting a score of 13. That's seven in a row. Describe these things people do in water. Things people do in water. Ready? Go. Okay, uh, you're not swimming. You're on top of the Floating. water. Uh, you... Paddle. No, you... In, Splash. In, right. Dive. In, right. Uh, without a bathing suit. Nude. Nude bathing. Another uh, word for it. Uh, uh, what, naked. what is this? What is this? Skin. 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 Skinny dipping. Right. Uh, you don't... You just walk in the water. You're not Wait. swimming. Uh, not... Backstroke. Right. And the front one... A uh, crawl. Right. That's it. $500 bonus. All right, gentlemen, you lead by two points. The ladies have the choice now of record breakers and pretty maids in a row. Jamie Lee. Wow. Or Pamela, either one doesn't matter. Record breakers. And please instruct me now as to who will do what. I think I'm going to do. You're going to do it. Yes. Describe these things found on a record. Things found on a record. Ready? Go. Just a moment. Go. Um, there's a place in the ground you dig. Dig, grew. dig a hole. Yes. Um, you light up my life. Who sang it? Davey Brown. <laughs> yeah. um, um, the Casablanca, it's the... the label. Yes. Um, and roll. Rock and roll. Yes. Um, they did the Saturday Night Fever album. Uh, Bee Gees. Group. Bee Gees. Yes. Um, Scratch. Yes. Um, um, uh, Trombone, a kind of music, clarinet, um, a kind jazz. Of music, yes. That's it, ladies. That's all we've got. All right, where are we? 18 to 13, a five-point spread. Gentlemen, six correct answers will do it. Dave, you got the screen. Do you want to play it that way? Yes, yes please. Describe for George these things that are found in a roll. In a Think what? In a where? Roll, R-O-W. R-O-W. Things w. found in a roll. And they need 19 points. Ready? Go. Okay, these right here. Buttons. Uh, in a church, the seats are called... Aisles. Pews. Okay, in the army. Who's in the army? Privates. What are they called? All uh, of them. Infantry. No, the, Men. all of them. Men, All uh, of soldiers. Right. Okay, uh, in, a, in Las Vegas, you pull it. Uh, slot machine, right. one-armed bandit. Right. right. Okay, uh, at, um, um, in New York, uh, they're closing it down. I can't think of the name of it. The dancers, the high kickers. Uh, the high uh, kickers. Discos. No, uh, in, in New York City. Uh, uh, go, go on to the next go one. Go on. <clears throat> okay, uh, on Liberace. Oh! <laughs> what was it? Oh, yeah. oh, Radio City Music Pamela. Congratulations. That's unbelievable. How do we do that? What's fair is fair. Radio City and this Music lady Hall. won it good and clean because you had a mental blank. Radio City Music How long have you lived in New York City? Uh, well, I live in Philadelphia now, but I was born and raised in New York City. Oh, I should have taken it the other way, right? He was so good at giving clues that we thought it would work better that way. Hey, Dave, we you clicking. didn't do all that badly. Uh, $1,450. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let's go and win the big money. Hey, I got a slip for the suit. <laughs> How about that? Well, I must reach in these pockets more often. Oh! <laughs> Did they get you? They got you, all right! Woo! All right. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> While you were away, I was... <laughs> making fun of the stage manager. And when you do that, they don't tell you when you're on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Having learned my lesson, where are we? $10,000? Yes. Pam, good luck. Here is your first subject. Go. The trunk, the... Um, Things in the car. The elephant. Ears, yes. <laughs> All right, this stock is up at 50, and... Uh, what a stockbroker says? Yes. A nickel, a penny, a dime, a quarter. Coins. Yes. True grit. The John cowboys. Wayne. Yes. Frogs. Things that leap. Yes. TV shows, movies. Things you watch. Things um, you tune into. Um, babies. Um, TV shows. Uh, movies. Um, things you watch. Things you look after. Um, TV shows. Things you concentrate on. Things you perform um, in. Um, um, plays, 
Things with actors, things babies. with crying, ba uh, sniveling, um, Kleenex, things that make you cry. Oh. Movies, TV shows, plays, babies. Things that you care for, things that are soft, things that are small. Oh. Bob, once you have 38 seconds. 38 seconds, yeah. You got those first five answers in 22 seconds, Shoot. leaving 38 seconds to get the last I'm one. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. Manufactured goods. Manufactured goods plays babies. Things with a plot. Things that are produced. Do documentaries. I gave it to records, records, of course. You're in the records. Records. Turn around, take a look at it. By now. Today's consolation prizes are a blue luster shampoo and new blue. This was the original version of the game show Russian Roulette. Benzivel, only five rubles. Grand prize, a loaf of bread, only four days old. It needed some tinkering. Let's play Russian Roulette. Yeah! Watch your step. You only live once. Let's go for it. The vastly improved Russian Roulette every night at 11 p.m. Eastern and Pacific only on Game Show Network. And skin irritation spoil. $20,000 pyramid. What else? We are, if you were not with us yesterday, I, Mike, I want to jump back to you. We had a situation yesterday where it was things you can borrow. And Miss Swift, in her oh, yes, right. infinite wisdom, said <laughs> a cup of sugar. That's fine. Up until then, then she added from a neighbor. How uh, about if I said a cup of your neighbor's sugar? Probably they'd take it. I don't know. It's from so, a neighbor well, that did. Yeah, yeah that would have been good. <laughs> Unfortunately, if we accepted it. We it. very often might make mistakes that are in favor of the contestant, sometimes to your disfavor. Uh, we try to play it right down the middle. We're going to take the $100 away and apologize. It's all we can do. It didn't affect the substantial outcome of the thing, but we've got to try to keep it as straight as we can. Please accept our apologies. Loretta, your new partner's name, I don't know. What is your name? Scott Brown. Scott Brown? Yes. Scott, what do you do? I'm uh, an editorial worker for a major uh, New York newspaper, and I've got to say, uh, his show is so real. It's incredible. Don't and tell his him character. that. Don't oh, tell him that. that. Yeah. Yeah. You know something? I just want to say that Loretta's show is, is as real, and <laughs> the same man produces both, Gene Reynolds. You're kidding. No, the this... same man produces both shows, and nobody well, ever no, knows no, who these people Gene are. Was our, what, Gene was our producer. Gene now, Reynolds. He's I, am, I'm, I know we must get to our game. This confuses me, because your show, Lou Grant, is a Mary Tyler Moore show, is it not? Well, yeah, he, he left that show uh, last year to start us off, and he's with I us see. and stuff well, like that. Well, he's got the genius touch, because they're great shows. What we're talking about, for your information, anyway. is MASH and Lou Grant, if that was a mystery. Folks, to the game. Here we go. Ladies, start off. We have eyes right. Food for thought, on the record, the exceptions, choose your weapon, the big top, and we'll ask Loretta to make the first choice. Food for thought. Okay, uh, remember the seven situation when that comes up. Please describe these things associated with food and drink. You'll have 30 seconds. If you make a mistake along the way, read part of the answer, give the essence of the answer, you hear the bird. These are things associated with food and drink. Ready? Go. Uh, oh, it's uh, in, in October where you uh, pray at the table with the turkey uh, and the whole thing. Yeah. And uh, this is the guy who cooks. The chef. Uh huh. And uh, this is what you go on to lose weight. A diet. Uh, and three, you know, rah, three rah, rah. Cheers. Yeah. Uh, and uh, this is somebody who eats a lot. A uh, glutton. Yeah. And a big, huge uh, banquet. Like uh, that. A buffet. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, no, no. A feast. Yes. 
and uh, the, the the final time they ate the twelve. The, the Last Supper. Of, yeah. The ladies are definitely communicating, gentlemen. Yes. It's up to you now, Robert. Choose your weapon, Loretta. Yes. <laughs> Please describe these weapons. Weapons. Ready? Go. A bow and arrow. Uh, it, you attach it to the front of a rifle. Uh, a sight. Muzzle. It's a long sword. It's a short sword. Short uh, sword. Uh, a bayonet. Uh, wood chopper. An axe. Yeah. Uh, to get whales. You throw a harpoon. A... Yeah. Uh, it's uh, 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 it's round at the end and it's made of wood. A club. Yeah. Uh, Dave, it's Luke Goliath with a uh, slingshot. Uh, it's not a pistol, but a uh, revolver. <laughs> Gentlemen, you needed about another second more on that one to score seven to six. Scott? Yes. Which one? Oh, the big top. <laughs> you snapped to attention and there was no answer at all. No one's nervous. Describe. <laughs> Uh, describe these things at a circus. Things at a circus. Ready? Go. Um, he makes you happy. Ha, ha, ha. Painted face, yes. Uh, a striped animal. A zebra. Uh, uh, ferocious, a cat. Oh, tiger. Yes. Um, he's in the center. The ringmaster. Yes. Um, and they shoot you out of it. In Cannon. The, yes. Um, and the, the... The big man, the, the fat man, human, the fat human, lady. Right. And, um, rides a horse naked. Naked horse. Um, the horse rider. Uh, uh, equestrian, horse. equestrian. Lady Godiva. Uh, without a saddle. Uh, Bareback, yes. Uh, as opposed to a fully clothed horse. <laughs> <laughs> a clothed without a... I'm oh, doing, what am I doing my best. Beating a dead horse is what I'm doing. I All gave right. her a multiple choice. Oh, no, I'm, I'm <laughs> funny exchange. 12 to 6. Mike? Eyes right, please. All right, here's your chance to catch up, even move ahead. Describe these things that contain the word I. You may use the word I in your description. E-Y-E-I. E -Y -E -I. Okay. Okay. Things that contain the word I, and you may use the word I in your description. Ready, go. Okay, this part. Eyebrow. Okay. Uh, when you get hit, you get a... Black eye. Right. Uh, the center of the target. Bullseye. Okay. Uh, what women wear. Uh, I'm, I, I'm mascara, makeup, you, you I'm cast, makeup. You ca your son cast at your... Eyeshadow. Right. Okay, a, uh, a guy that sees a crime is... Eyewitness. Right. Um, and what you read in the optometrist's office. Eye chart. Right. Uh, and a detective. Uh, private eye. That's and it. Gentlemen have moved behind by a point to ahead by a point. It's 13 to 12. Ladies? I'll let you choose. Up on the record? Okay. Please tell me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Scott, sure. you want Loretta to give the clues sure. to you or vice versa? I want her to give to me. All right. For a $500 bonus in your last turn here, please describe these things found on a record. Things on found record. on a record. Ready? Go. Okay, this. The whole. The center. Uh-huh. And um, this is a group. Uh, and... Um, that's, okay, what letter follows A? B. Uh, the Bee Gees. Okay, and uh, when you do this to somebody? Groove, no, scratch. No, that's right. And uh, and roll, what's the Rock. first? And um, um, she's uh, uh, mahogany. Uh, uh, Diana Ross. And um, that, what did you say before? Groove. Yes. And, uh, and all that? Jazz. Yeah. Yeah! yeah. Ladies, you've done a couple of things there. You've won a $500 bonus, bonus obviously, and you put the heat on the guys because now they've got to get a perfect score to win this thing. If you don't, if you skip one or lose one, it'll be a tie. We'll go to the right. tiebreaker. Mike, okay. do you want to give or receive? I will give. Please, sir, describe these things that are one of a kind. One of a kind. Right. You need a score of 20. You might elect to go for a tie if you get stuck. Things that are one of a kind. Ready, go. Okay, this part of your... Profile. Right. Okay, Noah's... Ark. Right. Uh, what you kiss in, in Ireland? Blarney Stone. Right. Uh, the, the picture of the, not the father, but... The mother. The Holy Mother. Uh, what, what, what? Yeah. What Whistler's mother. Right. 
Okay, the, the big place in Colorado that's real deep. The Grand Canyon. Right. Okay, not a fake, but... Uh, uh, le legit... Uh, not, not a fake painting, but... Original. Right. And you're... It's a tie. We'll break the tie right after this word. Gentlemen, the choices since you made the tie. Uh, things beginning with the letter P or the letter G? G. G. P when we get here. G coming up. Describe these things that begin with the letter G. Ready, go. Uh, in arithmetic, it's algebra, it's ancient Geometry. Uh, a certain kind of chef, fine food kind of sort. A gourmet. Uh, uh, Newton discovered the law. Gravity. Uh, she was a famous silent movie star. No one Garbo. can ever find her. Uh, it's not pebbles, but it's... Gravel. Uh, all that something doesn't shine. Gold. Uh, all that glitters. No, uh, uh, it, it's, it's the beat. Generation. It is, gentlemen. You've got a perfect score. So say pass any because you can't. Okay. I was explaining to the ladies they can't pass any without losing. Loretta, describe these things that begin with the letter P. Ready. Shh, shh, shh. Go. When it hurts. Pain. And uh, you follow this, you cut ah. it out, and no, you cut it out, and you. That's right. And a feather kind of thing. A big. Oh, God. La some da Plum. Plum. Um, la plume. Yes. Uh, okay, what you preach from? A pulpit. And uh, when you take a, a, a train ride, you will become a... Passenger. And uh, you own this. You own this. Property. A, yeah. And uh, this is a, a French thing Poodle. that you eat. No, you eat it. A, a pastry. Light, uh -huh. Yeah, it's five four. Mike, you have the choice of describing things that begin with the letter D or the letter K. D. K or D? D. D. You'll have K when we get there, Scott. Mike, describe these things that begin with the letter D. Ready? Go. Okay. Two. And, and cards. Uh, deuce. Okay. Uh, a rum drink. Uh, a banana. Daiquiri. Right. Okay. Uh, what you pay to become a member of an organization. Deuce. Right. Okay. Uh, the theory of evolution. He, he just Darwin. Started. Right. Okay. Uh, w yeah, select a service system. Draft. Right. Okay, uh, at a convention, you, when you go to a convention, you become a, you are a... Pass. Okay, pass. Okay, when you just... Delegate. Do, yes, when you just, do, just, uh, write. Draft. Do it. And that's a short. We have 32. You need 33. If yes, you get sir. 33, you win. If you skip one, you can go for another tie. Right. If you get them all, you win. Right. Nice and quiet, please. Describe these things that begin with the letter K. They need 33. K. Ready? Go. Uh, where dogs go to stay. Kennel. Right. Um, part of your body, they transplant them. Kidneys. Right. Uh, beer comes in a... Keg. Right. Um, uh, kids carry it on their back. Knapsack. Yes. Um, uh, in Russia, where they make all the decisions. It's like the Pentagon the in Russia. The Kremlin. Right. Um, a Chinese restaurant dessert. It's a fruit. Kumquat. Yes. And it's, you blow it. Coronet. Clark, 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 Choices. Describe things that begin with the letter Q or the letter C. C or Q. 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 Gentlemen, take Q. You'll have C when you get there. Please, ladies and gentlemen, quiet. This is a little tough now. This is a lot of pressure. Things that begin with the letter Q. Ready? Go. Not a pint, but a quart. Uh, what a duck does. Quack. Uh, when you have measles, you are quarantine. Uh, it's a kind of a rock. Quartz. Put it in watches. Uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, the Pennsylvania. Polka. Oats. Oats. Certain kind of oats. Uh, go on. Uh, uh, you shoot a quail. A bunch of them. Uh, uh, pass. Oh, Just before. Geese. You shoot a quail. Oh, you got the quail. You didn't get the quarry and the Quaker. Quaker. Ladies, you've got a good opportunity now. There are five points ahead. You need six correct answers. Six will turn the trick. That amounts to 38 is the number. Describe these things that begin with the letter C. Quiet, please. C. Ready? Go. Okay, the Panama Canal. And, um, 
It's a kind of fabric, very fluffy and light. You can Crepe, see through chiffon. it. Chiffon. Yeah. And uh, he, a big cigar, bowler hat, big fat man in England. He was... Uh, oh, bit, uh, Churchill. Yeah. And uh, this is a kind of dancing... Cast in, in, No, no. Um, in the West Indies or the East Indies. Calypso. So, yes. And uh, you wear it in your... Uh, Carnation. Hotel. Uh-huh. And uh, uh, this is when you're very gallant. It's your... Cal- you're Cal- very, very... Chivalrous. Yes. Yes. Oh! Okay. So then, ladies, congratulations in one second. Mike, $2,200. Thank you very much. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a $2,200 winner who played a whale of a game. Mike, thank you so much. Appreciate it. You got your back, you ready to go? Good luck. Ladies, stand by now for $10,000. Here's your first subject. Go. Ice cubes, the refrigerator. Things that are cold. Um... <clears throat> um, Smokey and the, band- and the Bandit. Um, Burt Reynolds movies. Yeah. Tubes, the dial, the um, the uh, tuner. Things on the, a television. Uh, um, uh, m- Things uh, on a stereo. Tubes, um, uh, an antenna, um, a dial. Things um, on a radio. Yeah. Um, Arkansas. Uh, Southern states, western oh, states. No. Sorry, wait a minute. Um, uh, uh, Dorothy. Uh, Wizard, of Wizard of Oz things. Oh. The, the Wizard of Oz. Um, cyclones. Things in the uh, Midwest. Uh, things in Kansas. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, badges, hats, streamers, delegates. Things at a convention. Um, um, recipes, formulas. Boys, oh. turn around, take a look, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Loretta Swit is joined by our new player, Lori Starsnick, who's a piano teacher. You ladies have seen the subjects. Please pick one right now. We're picking Charmed, I'm sure. Charmed, I'm sure. Please describe for your partner these things found on a charm bracelet. Things found on a charm bracelet. Ready? Go. Okay. What, what, make, what beats inside you? Heart. Okay. And uh, I got all the days of the year. A calendar. Honest. Yes. And uh, you play this one. A little, no, it's Ocarina. a tiny little thing. It's like uh, a mouth kazoo. organ. Yeah, that's uh, right. Another harmonica. Word for it. Yep. And uh, in Hawaii, uh, the fruit that comes from a Hawaii. pineapple. Yep. And uh, a wishing well. And uh, of, the, of the realm. What do you call the dime? A, crown. a, a penny, a dime, a nickel. A what coin. Is? Yes. And uh, for luck, you pick it. It's a uh, little green thing. Clover. Right. That's it. Perfect score. Laurie and Loretta have seven. Robert, which one of these do you want, sir? Please. Through the looking glass. Through the looking glass. Describe for Scott these things that have a mirror. Things that have a mirror. Ready, go. An automobile. Um, uh, An automobile. The, death, the windshield. Short word for it. A car. Uh, the seven dwarfs. Uh, Snow White. Uh, you ride uh, two wheels. And... Bicycle. Okay. Uh, part of a theater, the front part of a theater. The mezzanine. You walk in through it. Uh, the entrance. Uh... Okay, pass. Uh, submarine, it goes up. A uh, periscope, marquee. Uh, in the bathroom, you, you store everything. Medicine there. cabinet. <laughs> Lobby. Oh, uh, they're going to take medicine cabinet. Medicine cabinet. A medicine chest. They got it. They accepted medicine cabinet for medicine chest. The lobby was the one we were looking for before. Uh, Lori? Lori, please. Uh, a night at the opera. Please describe for Loretta these things associated with the opera. Things associated with the opera. Ready? Go. Uh, two people sing it. A duet. Uh, uh, blank seats. Uh, Loge. A square. Loge. A square is called a, you keep, ap- uh, it, it's, it's a square thing is a cube. Blank square. seats. Blank. Oh, pass, please. Uh, the big opera in New York. Metropolitan. Okay. Uh, a particular song in an opera. Aria. She's, okay. Uh, she's a famous opera singer. Your window. Pain. Uh, the Pain. outside of no. the window, window. is. Sills. Oh, Beverly. Okay. It's Sills, yes. Uh, not a tenor. All right. Scores 11 Soprano. I said now to Scott, you have a chance to pick this up and even move into the lead. Which one of these do you want? Hang in there. Hang in there is the choice. Which Describe these do. things people cling to. Things people cling to. Ready. Go. Um, not a wife, but a. Husband. Right. Um, uh, when you go to sleep at night and you see pictures, you have a... Dream. Right. Um, an old man uses it to Cain. walk with. Yes. Uh, not the present or the future, but the... Past. Right. Um, 
uh, when you, in not a sled, but you go down the hill in it. Slide. No, Toboggan. Yes. Um, uh, if you're drowning, they throw it to you in the water. Uh, uh, a lifesaver. Uh, a rope. Another word. Uh, jams, jellies are... Uh, uh, preserves. <laughs> preserves. Yes, I don't know if that got him in time. Jams and jellies are preserves. Life preserver. What did I say? Lifesaver. At the moment, it appears the buzzer beats you. Scott and Robert, please. Which of the last two? Oh. What's wrong? Uh, you give. And, um... Um... <coughs> God bless the child. God bless the child. And you'll give? Describe these, uh, famous children in fact or fiction. Famous children in fact or fiction. Ready. Go. Okay, they left the breadcrumbs. Hi, Hansel and Gretel. Uh, the current president's daughter. Amy Carter. Uh, little... Red Riding Hood. She had all the sheep. A uh, little Bo Peep. Uh, he was a menace. Dennis. Uh, uh, she, uh, uh... Shirley uh, Temple. No, no, no. Uh, blonde German. German. German name. Pass. Uh, Gretel. Uh, uh, she's on family, the, the youngest daughter. She won the oh, Emmy. Yes. Christy McNichol was the one we're looking for. And Heidi, 14 to 11. Laurie and Loretta need 15 points to win. Loretta, you're going to give. Describe these things associated with ice skating. Things associated with ice skating. 15's the number. Ready, go. All right, the brown rink. And when you take a tumble, you, you fall. And uh, 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 a Dutch, uh, um, uh, the, the Dutch country. The, uh, Holland. Yeah. And uh, you... Skate, yeah. glide. Yes. Yeah. And so win, and ladies. Please come to the winner's circle right away. Scott, you have $850. Thank you. I'm sorry to hurry you all like this, but this is uh, yeah. all those ties we had earlier put so us behind the eight ball. So please the catch your breath. Shorter. It makes the nervous <laughs> breakdown shorter. All right. <laughs> Hang in there. Here we go. Stand by. Here's your first subject. Go. Mars, Jupiter, uh, Earth. planets. Come on, Tano, let's go get what those the Lone Robbers. Ranger would say. Harry James, uh, the man. trumpet players, um, uh, people who have bands, uh, an automobile, uh, things you drive, uh, things. Harry James, an automobile, James. things um, have a horn. Yeah. Uh, dirty socks, things you throw sneakers. in the laundry. Uh, a basketball. The things you use in uh, sports. A towel. Uh, things you use uh, in the gym. Um, a dirty towel. Things you use to play. A clean towel. Um, sneakers. Things you drive a basketball. Off with. Sweat socks. Th uh, things that get next, grungy. Next, uh, next, uh, next. Um, a flower. Um, things you put in your lapel. A garden. Lapel. A watermelon. Things you grow a outside. Watermelon. Things that have seeds. Yes. Uh, a, a lamp. Things you light. Um, um, a, a, a bathtub. Uh, things you put a plug uh, in. Yes! All right, let's see what happens. You got the last one, turn around, take a look, and we'll be back in a moment. Oh, got him. Loretta and Robert, thanks. We'll see you uh, Monday. Sorry. Today's consolation prize is R.A. Blue Luster Shampoo, a new Blue Luster Plus carpet shampoo with grease cutters and brighteners to remove ground and dirt and grime and create winning poached eggs with Salton's electric egg poacher coated with Teflon to the real McCoy of non-stick finishes and Princess Gardner matching leather accessories smartly style for fashion conscious men or women. A fine name in leather accessories, Prince Gardner. And also chunky, four delicious family-sized bars. Each breaks into 24 thick, bite-sized pieces. However you like chocolate, chunky, it's a thicker or chocolate. And a certificate for Lenders Frozen Bagels. A hearty, any time of the day, taste treat, delicious, warm or toasted. Three slices with no preservatives. Lenders, the Bagel Lover's Bagel. Thank you.
Bob, very much. Welcome to the $20,000 Pyramid. Well, folks, it's a Wednesday, and this is a magic day to give money away, right? Right. Sure. sure. Loretta, yes. where were you Monday and Tuesday? I mean, you were supposed to give away, what, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. That was your promise. So today's the day we're going to do it. Fair enough. Say hello to uh, LaVon Daly. LaVon, what do you do, please? I'm a medical technologist out of work right now. <laughs> Uh, is that unusual? Excuse me for asking, but I, mean, I thought all you guys were very busy these days. Well, it's the area I live in, upstate, kind of isolated country. <laughs> I wish you much good luck Thank in, you. in finding that, and hopefully you'll pick up a little money to tide you over here. Thank We've got a couple of guys over there, not as nice as I am. They're out there to kill, kill, kill. <laughs> Robert, how are you, sir? Well, I got analyzed since uh, the other oh. day. Ah! I feel okay. much Things better. that are analyzed. Did you ever get the magic answer? I knew the answer. I was trying to get him to say the answer. <laughs> I never got it. No. no, in any case, Tom, what have you got? Uh, $500 on your way to $20,000. Yes. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, please be patient. We'll let the ladies start in a moment. These are the, uh, the subjects. We have to take a belt to tell the tooth. Notice that. Say hello to H2O from Rags to Riches, the prescribed language, and so to bed. And we'll ask Loretta Swift to make the first choice. To tell the tooth. We would <laughs> like to tell the tooth. The tooth. <laughs> You think this has something to do with dentists, teeth, molars? Do we know? If I knew what I'd tell you, let's see. These are things that have teeth. Things that have teeth. Well, we never, we never. 30 seconds to play around with this thing. The only caution I give you is please don't give a word or a form that's in the answer. It does not convey the essence of the answer. If it does, the bird yells at you like that. Things that have teeth. Ready? Go. Okay, not an alligator, but a crocodile. And uh, to, to a zipper. Uh -huh. And oh, you're gonna suck your blood. A vampire. Big, yeah. And uh, when you uh, a cut a tree. Uh huh. And uh, Mrs. Majors, Lee's wife. Uh, Farrah Fawcett. And um, oh, he always eats carrots. He. A Bugs Bunny. Yeah. And uh, this is not a shark, but a silverfish that's got as many teeth. A dolphin. No, a barracuda. No, yeah. yeah. Wow. Thank you. It was beautiful. Congratulations, ladies. <laughs> Uh, Robert and Tom, you want to get the E-bus and head out here? It's, wow. Dynamite. Which one would you like? Uh, say hello to H-T-O. H-T-O? H-2-O. I'll drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. It's, these are things people do in the water. Things people do in the water. Ready? Go. Fly in the back. The back. Uh, float. Uh, make a lot of water Splash. go all over the place. Yeah. And then, uh, when you're only up to Wait. your knees, yeah. Uh, you do that. Uh, backstroke. Right. And this is called... Crawl. The breaststroke. Okay. <clears throat> and then tires have them. When you just... Tubes. Paddling. When you're paddling. You just kind of... You doggy call sled. Doggy paddle. No. What's on a tire? A tube. No. The, the Rubber. The grooves in the tire. A tread. You tread. Okay. And this is called... <laughs> Tread was the thing that did yeah. you in there, guys. You're a point behind. Levon? Uh, take a belt. Take a belt. Describe these. Uh... <laughs> All right, my dear, that's a $500 bonus possibility if you get seven out of seven, as you describe these things found on a belt. Things found on a belt. On a belt. Ready? <laughs> Go. Uh, these you open the door with this a key right uh, uh, these you put in a gun you fire bullets them. Mm -hmm. and this is holds water if you're on a high canteen right uh this is a hand you throw it uh, you pull a pin and throw a it grenade right and this is uh how big you are it's your waist no how, what your you height, wear your what girth, you wear your what a woman wears not size an eight, right and these are your first letter of your name the first letters of initial the, right Finish. And this is when you cut this in a, you make a little oh, wow. knot. Was it a knot? Yeah. That was me. I'm just a slow. Ladies have 13 points. The men have six. Gentlemen, I don't want to add any troubles to your head, but this is the time to tie it up and get them all, Tom, and that'll do it. Which one? Okay, we'll go from rags to riches. Describe for your partner these things uh, in Cinderella. Things in Cinderella. If they get them all, it'll be tied. Ready? Go. Okay, uh, the, the nasty step... Mother. Yeah, but her, her siblings, her... Um, sisters. Not your brother, but sisters. Right. Okay, and this is your wave, the magic. Wine. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, and she put this... Slipper. Kind of, yeah, what kind of slipper? Yep. Uh-huh, and uh, they went to the big dance. Ball. Uh-huh. 
And uh, uh, 12 o'clock is also called... Midnight. Yes. Uh-huh. And what we said before, the, the, the bad, the woman who is... Mother. Uh, yeah, what Step mother? Mm-hmm. And, uh, uh, and they lived... Happily ever after. Uh-huh. That's it. <laughs> That's a good game. 1313, Levon and Loretta have the choice of the prescribed language and so to bed. Ladies, what And so to bed. And so to bed. Please tell me now how. This way. Uh, Loretta, describe for your partner these things you go to bed with. Things you go to bed with. (laughs) So far, so good. (laughs) So far, so bad. I gotta get yeah, my so mind straight here. Things you go to bed with. Uh-huh. Ready? Go. What you're wearing? Pajamas. No. Nightwear. Nightgown. Uh huh. And oh, you have a Headache. terrible splitting. And uh, Johnny Carson is on Tonight Show. And uh, you take a little. Um, a little I mean, just sip. Eat, no, you eat something. Just a little. And the snack. Uh huh. And uh, you read this. It's fiction. Uh, a novel. And um, uh, a little belt before you go to bed. Is a cocktail. Called... No, the last sip. thing you take. The a last drink. drink. Come on in for a. A nightcap. And uh, uh, to, to make the room smell better and breathe better, you have this An machine. atomizer or a vaporizer. Yes. There it is, ladies. Thank you, Dr. Gentlemen, who's going to give the clues here? Robert. I will give... Robert, I've got to give you a word of caution here. The score is 20 to 13. You dare not skip any. I'm not playing games here. If you inadvertently das not, das not, you das not, I'm told, skip any. As if you, you know, inadvertently say that you lost. So you got to press on and get them all. Please describe these words and expressions that come from the Latin. Words and expressions that come from the Latin. L-A-T-I-N. Latin. Ready? Go. When you leave, it's uh, a light over a door. Exit. Uh, the month before September. July. Uh, August. Uh, it has eight sides to it. It is uh, called a... a hexagon. Octagon. N- uh, it's, uh, it's not a warrant, but it's a... A summons. Subpoena. Uh, your old school. Uh, alma mater. Uh, when you, uh, w- w- when you, uh, put extra words in that not in the script. There's no consolation to you guys. There's not an exhilaration in your it, win it because everybody was, you know, struggling. Win, yes. Yeah. Uh, it was easy, so I don't feel bad. No, that was a stinking category. Woo. I mean, it took a lot of words to really describe all that stuff. Well, was you want to shed just one well. copious tear for them? <laughs> That's it, fellas. That's all you get. Tom, you have $500. We thank you very much. And LeBron, let's go win the big money. <laughs> LeVon? You got no money right. so far. Broke. <laughs> However, no, I don't. No, I mean, in terms of hard, no, I'm not saying it. Terrible thing to say. You've won no money with us, right. but in 60 seconds from now, it could be ten thousand dollars. Good luck, ladies. Here's your first subject. Go. Um, the turret, the moat, the drawbridge. I think it's in a, ca- in a castle palace. And, uh, oh, I hope nobody steps on me. Where are the workers and the queen? And what uh, a bee we, says. What an ant says. And, um, Anything Midas touched. Golden a things. Golden things. Okay. Um, um, suddenly last summer, Cleopatra. Elizabeth Taylor movie. Good. Your weight. Your income tax. Um, uh, uh, time. Uh, your weight. Things you don't tell. Your things weight. you tell. Things you. Uh, Go on, please. Things you uh, conceal. Uh, milk. Water. Things you drink. Things, um, um, liquid things. Um, um, uh, um, a mop. Things you... Dirty water. Things you throw out. Um, things milk. You, um, 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 Prices? Your, your weight. waistline. Your weight. Nah. Things you want. Prices. Things. Sale. 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 Sale.
basement. Things that are slashed, things that are cut, uh, things that are overweight. Uh, reduced. Reduced. Oh, oh, that is. Oh, I should have gotten. That's the oh. one that really got you. Turn <laughs> yeah. around, and take a look at the rest. We have two hundred and what is it? Oh, two hundred and fifty oh. dollars. <laughs> yeah. Isn't a tail? <laughs> we'll be back in a moment. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh, I should have. That was no. That I should have gotten that. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up on the $20,000 pyramid, our guests will be Didi Khan, Fred Grandy, who is, uh, what's the name of that guy? He plays Gopher on, uh, yeah, on Love Boat. Sandy Duncan, Robert Mandon, who's uh, from Soap, Elaine Joyce, Dick Cavett. In the meantime, we're delighted to have Loretta Swit and Robert Walden with us. Loretta from MASH, which is seen when? Monday nights at 9 o'clock. And uh, half an hour later than that, you'll see this gentleman playing, what is it, Rossi, is it? Uh, yeah, Joe Rossi in the Lou Grant show. <laughs> We're on 10 o'clock and 9 central, I believe. So like that's tattooed on your forehead at this moment. We have a new player, uh, Mike Sobolewski. Mike, what's your job? Uh, I'm a uh, life insurance agent from Newcastle, Delaware. Welcome aboard, sir. We'll start our game with a moment. LaVon, you ready to do battle one more time? Yes, I am. Okay, here's the $20,000 pyramid board for the second game. More of the same. He cracks me up, the fall and decline. The cliffhanger is, I can't see whether that's plural or not, doesn't really make a lot of difference. The can-can and the brush-off. And Mike, uh, you and your partner will make the choice specifically, brush Loretta. The brush-off. The brush-off. Okay, here we go. Please describe these things associated with a brush. Things associated with a brush. Ready? Go. Uh, the man who cuts your hair. Barber. And uh, on a teacup, you pick it up by the... Handle. And um, uh, when you Dangerous. have... Dangerous. Uh, but the other... You, you brush it off your coat. Lint. Mm -hmm. And uh, someone who's painting. Uh, artist. A, mm -hmm. And uh, on the brush, those things that stick up are called... Bristles. And uh, you take paint off with this. A paint remover, lacquer, thinner. Uh, no. Uh, the other, Turpentine. Another, right. And uh, this is what you shine something with. You put a coat of... Polish. Uh, no, uh, Wax. No, no, no. You, uh, on a painting. Mm. Sorry, chill out. Right. Couldn't think of any... Good try, Mike. You got six out of seven in any case. Robert? The fall and decline. What'd you think it was? Thought Rome. That's what I thought. No way. <laughs> These are things that can collapse. Things that can collapse. <laughs> no. Stand by. Ready? Go. Uh, Use it in the rain. Uh, umbrella. Um, inside here. Your yeah. lungs. Right. Uh, what holds water back? A dam. Okay. Uh, it's the exchange where all the... All the, uh... the stock market. Uh, gold is in it. Coal is in it. A mine. Um, has three legs, a camera sits on it. A tripod. It. Uh, it's the Roman... Empire. There it is. <laughs> One point lead, seven to six. Mike? Uh, more of the same, please. Describe for Loretta these things that are copied. Things, things that, that are copied. copied. Okay. Hmm. Ready? Go. Okay, what you use to cook? A recipe. Okay. Uh, a hundred pennies is a... Dollar. Okay. Uh, come up and see me sometime. May West. Right. Uh, mink and sable are types of... Fur. Okay. Uh, after school, when a, when a child... Re recess. Uh, after uh, school, when he returns. Does a school study? Well, homework. Right. Okay. Uh, rings Wristwatch. and... Rings Grace and... Grace of jewelry. Right. Uh, a teenage... Idol. Right. That's it. Good game cooking here. We have 13 to 7, and uh, LaVon, you have a perfect game working. If you can do it again, you'll be on your way to possibly a $1,000 bonus. Which one of these three do you want? Uh, we want to try the can-can. Okay. Please describe for Robert these things found in a can. Things found in a can. Okay. I was right about that. Yeah. <laughs> Thought it was Toulouse-Lautrec. Mm. Things found in a can. Ready? Uh -huh. Go. Uh, this is Slitz or um, Heineken. Beer. Uh-huh. And this is Campbell's soup, right? Um, uh, these are pinto or uh, pork and beans. Mm -hmm. uh, these are little fish, and they're in sardines. Uh -huh. And this is uh, an Italian dish. It's little uh, uh, has meat Anchovies? in it. No, a little meat pasta inside it. It's uh, stuffed. Uh, 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 pass. Uh, pass. Okay. And this is uh, Lysol. Is a it cleans uh, disinfectant, right? And this is uh, okay. It's thirteen twelve. Almost five. That was a good move to skip that one and, and pick up the point. Could have been 
eight Italian things I was thinking of. And yeah. I, I All right, 13 to 12 is the score. Levon, you and Robert have the choice. Oh, if he cracks me up in the cliffhanger, um, which one do you want? What do you like? Cliffhanger. Cliffhanger. The cliffhanger. Please now chat it over and decide how you want to play it out. Okay. That way? Mm -hmm. Robert, describe for her these things associated with a crisis. Things associated with a crisis. Ready? Go. A lot of water coming all a over. A flood. Okay. Uh, not the mayor, but... The governor. Uh, when, when you hold someone against their will, tie them up and... You kidnap them. They are you, called a... A, a hostage. Uh... Uh, they come to the aid and, and, uh, the... Red Cross. Yeah. Uh, th it's a television show. It is one word and it is an... Emergency. Uh, the state of, uh, uh, Arab versus... Israel. No. Uh, 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 uh the people there. So, Levon, that, may, that lead may yeah. hold up and it may not. We'll see how your <laughs> opponents fare here. It's 17 to 13, Loretta. The last one is he cracks me up. Who's going to do what? I will, I will give. Mike, describe for the lady, please, these comedy performers. Loretta, you must give us the entire name. Let me see if that, uh, in every case here, no, pass. Give us the entire name. Comedy performers, you must respond with the entire name. Do you understand? Okay. Yes, I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. You need a score of 18 to win the try at the $10,000. Ready? Go. Okay. He made, um, he, he was married to Diane Keaton. Woody Allen. Right. Okay. Come up and see me sometime. Mae West. No, come, no. Uh, I had my little chickadee. Oh, uh, W.C. Field. Right. Okay. Uh, at the center of Hollywood Squares. Uh, Peter Marshall. No, oh, Paul Lynn. Right, okay. Uh, the, the old slapstick. Uh, Charlie Chaplin. Right, okay. Uh, welcome back, Cotter, the star. Gabe Kaplan. Okay. Yeah. I'm up and see me some. Oh, no. I gave you a choice. I gave you multiple choices. <laughs> There's a happy face. Look at that one. You ever see a great winner or loser? Man looks like he's going to go out and throw himself out a window. What's your problem? I feel problem? like I'm failing these people. No, I just no. not, not sure. You know, don't, don't feel that way because you played a great game a lot of times. Levon's won 250 bucks. Okay. She will meet you in the alley later. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't a bad round at all. You ran into a little bad luck. Levon, thank you so much. Mike, let's go win the big money. We're just discussing the attitude one should have here. <laughs> it's the borderline case of a little bit of tenseness and a little bit of relaxation so that you're not, you know, psyched out of your mind. How do you feel, all right? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. Mike, good luck to you. Okay. For $10,000, here's your first subject. Go. Milk, eggs, cheese. Dairy products. I love hanging on the loo in the Louvre this way and my what secret a picture. smile. My oh, what Mona Lisa says. Yes. Candy, ice cream, sweet things, uh, ice cream, soda, confections, um, things made a with Valentine's milk. heart, things you give to your girlfriend, um, candy. Go on. I, Go on. Um, um, Marlon Brando, um, uh, the 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 horse at the Kentucky Derby, um, tough guys. Um, uh, Ali, uh, Muhammad Ali. The champion, uh, the winner. Yeah. Chickens, hens. Um, Things with your feathers. Your pet, your pet, uh, your baby. Things you um, cage. Uh, things in a plate, put things in a pen. Next, please. Uh, that's one of the most wonderful ones I've ever seen. I've got to ask him a question that's on the lips of all America now. <laughs> How many children do you have, Mike? Have two. Two? Yes. In a small cage in the living room. There's a perf there was a perfect answer. Everybody's wanting that the man over there just shut. Hershey bars. Chocolates. Yeah. Hungry yeah. baby. That's right. Things you feed. I said a hungry baby. But is that too descriptive? It's always a easy when we get through with it. A hungry chicken, a hungry hen, a hungry... <laughs> right. That would have been fine. Yeah. Mike, you have $200. The game will continue in a moment. Thank you very much. Who? 
Candy Easter rabbits? Yeah. Why yeah. said Valentine's? Yes, Valentine's Day. Well, There's a lovely know. part about this game all tonight. You'll be thinking, of, hey, we got to run. Where are you? We'll see you the next time. <laughs> Today's consolation prizes are introducing exhilarating, vibrant, vital Jovan Sports Sense. For him, for her, because life is a contact sport. And a 45-piece dinnerware service from Artisan. Durable, attractive, contemporary Melamine. A complete indoor-outdoor dinnerware set by Artisan. And Broxident Automatic Action Toothbrush with interchangeable brushes for the entire family. It's a great idea from Squiff. Also, legs wide band knee highs. Legs extra wide comfort. Keeps them up comfortably all day. Also available in the money-saving multi-pack. And a selection of books from Fawcett featuring Love and Store, Robert Lee's new bestseller about love and intrigue in a London department store.